<laughs> yeah, ready to go. <laughs> Lenny, can you do this and eat at the same time? You good? No, but I'll be finished soon. Yeah, you're good. Just did a leg workout. I want to thank Jay Masters for the power rack. I did squats on the patio. I want to thank right underneath a wasp's nest. I'm sure they were in there nice and snug. It was a little chilly for Florida, but they'll be coming out soon. I hope they do. Did you get bit? I hope I do. Because I can say to myself, when I'm squatting, I'm get bitten by wasps. And Dale, <laughs> Dale Chance and uh, sweats his face up there. Forgot, forgot her name. Uh, Cornelius. Yeah. <laughs> when he comes down, I'm gonna dwarf him. Literally dwarf you guys. So who's it's here tonight? Forgot Lenny, it. Brad, myself, and Jason's in the house. Tonight. And the and the shit lord. Yeah. After the weekend of uh, nonsense that we have to fucking constantly listen to. So should to we just right shit. off the bat address the yeah, elephant just, in the room tonight? Get the shit out of the fucking way. I'm the elephant in the room. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Three thirty and growing. Three thirty and growing on fucking. Dale would be, would be the hummingbird of the room if he was here. <laughs> Shitlord is very serious tonight. Yeah, he wants to. <laughs> we we had a another shitstorm. Proclaim on our hands this his weekend. fucking innocence. Innocent until proven guilty. No, it's guilty until proven innocent That's in this right. country. In your right case. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> when they when when that was mentioned, I I told Andrew I I fucking believed it because you can be a real fucking jackass. Yeah, but I wouldn't do and that. You, something like that. You no. wouldn't. I wouldn't um, put for, it past for those you. who aren't aware of what we're talking about. I'm sure that's nobody, but if, and if no one's aware. You want to shout out that t-shirt place? No, go ahead. Oh. All right. <laughs> Real quick here. Um, this fucking shirt. Emma, who everyone knows by now, is in the hospital, who, by the way, is recovering. Her creatinine level is down from 8 to 3.6, which is a huge step in the right direction. It means her kidneys are starting to function normally again. Uh, so it's good. I went to visit her today. Her face is not as swollen. She's doing, she's doing better. Um, she received about 10 or so messages over the weekend saying, did Jason give you the money that I gave, that I gave to Jason to give to you, or I donated to Jason give to you. And Emma was like, what the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. So Emma, Emma's first reaction was to make a video and post it on Instagram. Bad move. Which... I, I, listen, if there's one thing I've learned the hard way doing these videos and shit for all these years, it's that you must fact check before you go public with anything. Because I've made the mistake of going public public with things before, before I checked all my facts and dotted all my I's and crossed my T's, and it's, it's made me look like an ass. So. And not only that, she has all of our numbers. She could have called Jason, called you, called mm -hmm. me, and said, hey, what is this bullshit? Yeah. And we would have straightened it out without yeah. having to go through all that nonsense. Unfortunately, it wasn't handled privately. It went public, so a shitstorm was immediately created. Jason was in the middle of it, and... <laughs> As always, Jason, that a monumental accusation was made against you, and um, basically saying that you have been stealing donations that were meant for not Emma. true, not true. Well, here's your chance. The floor is yours. Not true. I'm going to explain the situation. She got false, phony troll account people who go. are who are texting her. Work of a clever troll or two. Uh, tr trolls who are texting her trying to say that I took money from her when I never took money from her never stole any money from her I never took any donations from her whatsoever I basically just promoted her her GoFundMe her GoFundMe you know the one the you, was, caring you caring account, one whatever. I was promoting that mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel and on my Twitch I never took any money from her never did anything bad whatsoever and Basically, she got troll information, troll accounts messaging her saying, listen, he donated. I never took, I never, the, all the shout outs I've given, I remember, mm -hmm. I never took any money from Emma. I just did shout outs for myself to give to my fans. That's it. All right. Well, well, and not only that, if these people really did donate money to you for Emma, where's the paper trail proof or whatever? There's no paper trail proof or anything whatsoever. Well, here's what I did. And. Jason knows that I did this. I told him after the fact. I went through Jason's Instagram messages, mm -hmm. right? I went through Jason's Gmail emails. I went through both your inboxes and I went through a week and a half worth of messages, which was long before Emma was ever hospitalized. There was not one single message where Emma's name came up, where money came up regarding a donation for Emma. So in Jason's defense, and by the way, included in your Gmail inbox were all of your PayPal 
electronic receipts for money you've received. And the only thing that they said was um, for shout out of so and so's mm -hmm. name. So there was oh, nothing dang. in either of your inboxes that you mainly use with them as name, anything about a donation. So that bodes well for Jason. It's just a question of who do you believe? And at the end of the day, you nobody's have... going to believe Jason well, yeah. because he's a fucking <laughs> pathological right. liar and his track record is, is what it is. But I know what I didn't do. I didn't do it. And that's it. Simple as that. I didn't do it. And this time I did not do it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen to anybody who doubts me. Whoever believes me, great. Whoever disbelieves me, go fuck themselves. So they're fucking piles of shit anyway. <laughs> and t until that now now all you got to do is do something really stupid like you always do and then this and then everybody will forget about this <laughs> the, the conveyor belt of shit <laughs> which there it. will be something in the next couple right. weeks you can fucking guarantee that conveyor belt of crap yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't want to dwell on this too long but we know everybody would insist that we bring this up with jason and here tonight so so if it does come out that they do have proof that they gave you money for her, Jason, you're never, fair fucking game, pal. No, I never, I never, I never. Okay, I never, that's what you say now. But if somebody comes out and they and it specifically it, says that, it could be a troll account. They can make it up. Uh, I've wow. I've known Jason for almost ten years, and I'd say that nine times, no, not even like maybe ninety-five percent of the time, I can tell when Jason's lying and I can tell when Jason's telling the truth. And if I know Jason's lying to me. I know how to figuratively beat the truth out of him. Mm -hmm. Off camera, when no one's around and it's just me and Jason, mm -hmm. I know how to get Jason to open up and tell the truth. And I actually, in this instance, color me stupid if you want, I believe Jason. And I believe that a bunch of people, unfortunately, took advantage of Emma's state of being weakened and sick and use it as an opportunity to troll Jason to fuck with him. Um, well, she, I, I, heard, you know, I, heard, I heard people saying during Emma's live feed that I blind. I tend to blindly defend Jason, which is not true. I'll rake Jason over the fucking coals if I need to, but I'll only do that if there's hardcore evidence proving that he did something wrong. There is no evidence to back any of this up. I hate to say it for those of you who can't stand Jason and want to see him, um, you know, take a fall for this. But until any of us see hardcore evidence, you got to give him the benefit of the doubt. You never give him the benefit of the doubt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just like when it was when it was brought up, I said, I, I don't know. He says he didn't, but it wouldn't surprise me. I, didn't do, I don't do. I don't do that show. Okay. Man. All right. I, I, I hope not, man. I, I hope it doesn't come out that you did, because and like Brad is saying, if we do end up seeing any kind of evidence or whatever that it could be trolls faking shit up. Oh, uh, don't start that bullshit. Yeah, see, people are going to hear that, and then they're going to Photoshop fucking receipts and fake emails and forward them to us. That's what's going to happen. So don't plant that seed in anyone's head but it, 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 at the end of the day we're not talking even if it was a few dollars it's not like it's thousands of fucking dollars i mean yeah, let's exactly. you know whatever it was because i i'm i'm almost positive people did because you you, you set that sh i want to see the twitch video no i never never did man. What, what you never did the you, twitch you, video you would have huh. see it's monday night right now yeah. you would have to think that by now something would have surfaced that's a true video a screenshot uh something we would have seen something yeah right that's now. true and, and that's it just, true that's a we haven't point. seen it and until we do and as much as i hate to say this you gotta take jason's word for it Maybe, yeah that's all right like, color me stupid but um, no you're right they they probably they should have had some kind of hardcore evidence because that those are big accusations but at the same time she's in the fuck she's you know She's in the hospital. She shouldn't have to be worrying about any of this fucking yeah, bullshit. Yeah, I I, well, I talked to her about that like, today when I was there. Concentrate on getting yourself better. Don't worry about this fucking nonsense. She's not. She, believe me. She's she's having surgery tomorrow on her left leg. Oh, yeah, she man. She's in serious fucking she's not, even she's her in mom, bad man, shape, her man. Mom's not, even her mom's over it. They're, all, they're both yeah. over it. But it needed to be addressed, and <clears throat> we'll get it out of the way, and then we can have some fun. But sitting here watching Lenny eat, you're making me hungry, man. What is that? Well, since I just did legs, I should have had prep, prep meal, but three uh, double quarter pound or whatever's. No, you got two triple cheeseburger meals with two chocolate fucking shakes, and yeah. I stole one of the shakes because yeah. they're fucking good. <laughs> I'm in a semi-bulky phase. <laughs> semi-bulky. Well, I'd like to mention my sponsorship, Dale. <laughs> New World Nutritionals. As you can see, they sent me an awesome tank top. Take a look at this in the front and the back. 
that fucking tank top is hideous. Wait, what, what size? That is that? looks it's fucking sick. ridiculous. That's a four X. That's a four X. <laughs> that's a fucking four X in women. Yeah, <laughs> fucking for it's youth. Sick. Look at the back. No, it's sick. It's that's an owl. It's a pretty cool design. An owl is a dangerous predator. People think they're real cute. You know, like Woodsy the Owl. <laughs> The owl and the wife. Pick up the microphone, you stupid shit. down his throat his whole life. <laughs> Greasy potato chip eating. Freak you, know? <laughs> It's sick. It's been... Sh- we'll don't say it. that shit. And it'll rip you to shreds. You can not owl will yeah. rip you to shreds. Try to hunt one of those, Dale. Those owls will rip you to shreds. They'll talons. eat you alive, hungry, hungry man. <laughs> so We don't need your two cents. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't see you with any Blackstone apparel this quality. And by the way... I don't see Tony use with any Blackstone products either. He actually did a profile on the liver cleaner that I'm sure he saw from my... Pick up the microphone, you stupid shit. <laughs> Stop standing there screaming. Everyone's going to start messaging me what's wrong with the audio. Lenny's not holding his microphone. Sit and by the way... Just watch my Snapchat. You'll see what yeah. he's doing. Dr. Tony Hughes saw me and he obtained their liver cleanser. And to tell you the truth, that sluggishness is gone since I've been using it. Now... You can tell the tint tinge of my eyes a little different, so I'm on the I'm on the cleanup trail. Yeah, you're not as jaundiced as you normally. Yeah, so I, I want to thank my sponsor. I mean, I'm well stocked. I'll let you guys know when I need more, but you get me well stocked, and I appreciate it. I'm doing like I said at night. I'll I do 100 I need, grams I think of casein. I need a fucking liver scrub. Will you give me some of that shit? You need sure. A new liver, yeah. Sure. <laughs> you need a liver transplant. Yeah, I want to try some of it though. I do the 100 grams. See, I can do 100 grams of these all their proteins and not get bloated which I love and I'm able to eat soon afterwards. You take something off the shelf and any commercial protein powder, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be so bloated that you won't be able to eat. I'll take that casein tonight, 100 grams by itself. After the workout, I have 100 grams of the whey isolate. And at work, I have 100 grams of the whey protein with oats. And uh, right now I'm using either Gatorade or Tang as my sugar. Well, I'll, I'll get into the carbolins and the mounted and the uh, waxy mazes. January 1st, that's my serious bulk cycle. You hear that, Dale? Ooh, he's coming for You're you. You're probably not allowed to do a bulk cycle anymore because you want to be, what, 112? Be in the 112 <laughs> division? You want to be lean year around, yeah, baby. You can be a lean, small nobody, Dale. You're going to become a freak. He's got to concentrate on beating the swimmers. Yeah, well, that's your downfall. I beat everyone. You know why? I don't think there's a person in that whole fucking auditorium that could have kicked my ass and was harder than more ripped than me. That's bodybuilding. Yeah. So anybody you competitors, you want to get in my face, there's no liability for The only reason day. why Dale beat you is because his politics crap. Yeah. And we may do the Diana Cadu. Diana Cadu, me and Lenny and Dale. And after the show, she should sit on my face, put all her weight <laughs> on me. You hear that, Diana? You should never step on another stage again, Jason. You should sit it's on my face on down. stage and we'll get I some real do views. Sh- I'm going to plan it early this year. Okay. I'm going to die January to October. Well, if we do the Diana, yeah, another, you're going to uh, fucking die. Bulk up. You're going to die for 10 yeah, months, Jason. Get the right? fuck out of here. Yeah, give me another month. You, fucking you need 10 years, Out of your Jason. mind. Yeah. <laughs> 10 months of serious cut, baby. Yeah, okay. Serious. We'll get your cut, Jason, this year, whether you like it or not. Yeah, we'll see. And you know what I'm talking about. You have to be on him 24-7. There's yeah. no Believe fucking Believe me, I know chance. the cure for that. What's that? <laughs> whether he's not dying or not, he's going to get cut regardless. Okay. Even if I have to suffer in the in the in the uh, in the in the in, in New Guinea, <laughs> in New that may be a good idea. Lock Jason in a cage with nothing but weights. We'll lock him on my patio uh, and feed him yeah. through the kick bars. He would eat the weights. <laughs> with, uh... <laughs> feed me, feed me scrap Eventually. bones. Well, you can eat the wasps when they come out because there's a nest back there. <laughs> he works in a, in fucking Publix. That bakery there, the deli. Hey, I got there. cookies where there's I work. No, there's no. <laughs> you just don't eat them. That's he, all. He can't stop himself. Well, He's I got do. no self control. Well. None. <laughs> there will be for this show. Nah, well, whatever. Diana I believe it when I see it. Diana You've been Diana. saying the same shit for years, and you always. Diana could do it. Sick, it's pissed. Stop, Stop it. saying it's sick, it's pissed. Yeah. You can get the fuck That's out of right. here. Okay? I'm gonna do <laughs> nothing. You're not allowed shit. to say that. You're not allowed to look at your phone for that. And we know you're a Diana fucking could, ignoramus, but Diana you can Diana use can, different fucking. Diana words. could do. I'm doing, baby. That's actually a really big show. That's the one we filmed. Diana in 2014. could do the finest, much bigger than the finest Haitian bodybuilder ever lived. How much do you assholes get ripped off for for that fuck? $125. Is that what it costs? <laughs> yeah. What does it cost? 125 Yeah. Just to take a whiff of Diana Cadu's farts. You pay, you pay them. Worth it to <laughs> That's such a fucking racket, man. Such a racket. I know I can enter two shows. You don't need that shit anymore. You have YouTube. You can. You guys can. What's you, a racket is paying money for golf clubs and going on a golf course. <laughs> and swinging a damn club halfway to be Tiger Woods saying you're injured from playing golf. 
I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, I don't want to hear He's it either. He's injured from <laughs> swinging a golf. What in the hell? A golf club for Imagine life. Imagine they it's finally get a porch it's monkey on a golf course. Oh, my God. And he gets injured swinging a golf club. <laughs> We used to, guys used to swing like apes through the jungles. You can't even handle a club. Oh, my God. <laughs> Plus, you're part chink. Oh, you know? my God. <laughs> what? Oh my what is that? Only only took six, when I hear that, he's injured. 16 minutes. 16 minutes for the, for first, the racism. For the first when I hear that, I, what the hell? Uh, he's injured. He's injured. He's had like, he's had like four back surgeries. Yeah. You know From that. what? Probably from getting sodomized, all the kinky sex that he did. Brad, Brad plays golf. Does it fuck your back up? I never played golf. Yeah, you, you get sore. Get sore. Oh, <laughs> from playing golf. You heard No, us. because it's not a natural motion for your body to be well, It's swings. not natural to get fucked in the ass either, is it? <laughs> for you, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It wasn't. It was never, no one's ever penetrated me, although Lucy, could, I'm sure, could gladly be the first. I'm still a virgin, Brad. Did you give Lucy your phone number? Did you ever call yeah, her? Yeah, she never called me back. Who's she was Lucy? she was honestly out of town. Who's she Lucy? left. I'll show you when we're You'll done. You'll see it. You're in for a treat. I'll show you my computer. You're in for a treat. Oh. You yeah. made a printout, right? What do you think about that, Dale? What do you got on your squat rack? Cornelius is rectum? Ah! Did we talk about that last week? How Lucy was here in Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, she was we on did? State Road 84. Yeah, yeah, you called me that night. That's right. Yeah, I was so excited, but of course she had to leave the next day. She's on a tranny tour. Lenny was going to Uber down to Fort Lauderdale, which was like, what, 50 bucks one way? I was going to go down <laughs> there one way or another. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it. Now you got to find out when she's coming. He, back he was going to Uber with who's fucking Uber? He don't even have an Uber yet. Yours. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I would have let you use it for that. I thought you were going to let me use the Buick. <laughs> well, you can use that too anytime you want. Would you make it that far? Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, that car runs strong, man. I've had that thing for nine fucking years. Bought it for 500 bucks. It's like sitting on a fucking couch. How's your stomach feel after you ate that shit? Somebody said there's worms in that fucking meat. <laughs> Well, I hope there are. It's more protein. <laughs> we all eat bugs and worms. We disapprove. Yeah, fact. bugs aren't bad for you. <laughs> what do you think, shit lord? You know you want to eat his food. He wants to eat. Look my at this pudge. Look at your fucking arms are all pudgy now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So am I. So am I. No, I'm you're not. Will you stop? What do you say? So are you? He, he's. You always give Jason a fucking delusion. You have to. Why? Jason's a non-cookie cutter. That's why I like him so much. Oh, really? Nobody's like Jason. Yeah, no shit. Thank God. So that's God. why I hate cookie cutters. Well, somebody's like Jason. You the thing Jason that, strutting around. The woman that fucking shit him out is just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So we need to talk about Jay Masters' Instagram a little bit. How many accounts has this guy created now? He got two deleted over the weekend. There was a, a failed, a really pitifully failed attempt at a terrorism attack in New York City today, and Jay instantly took to his new Instagram, which was Bedroom Bully 60, official, official. Bedroom Bully 69. <laughs> Calling Muslims ragheads and saying Donald Trump needs to bomb the capitals of all these Muslim countries and bing goodbye. Yeah, but Ten the first later. he he set up another Instagram. I guess it was Friday night. Yeah, official bedroom bully, and he went on calling Jason a retard a hundred times, saying anybody that would give that retard money for Emma is more retarded than that well, retard. He's not wrong. <laughs> exactly. He got blocked out. And then somebody reported that. Yeah, by I, the way, it, that, it had to have been that. That's another thing that needs to be said about that. Anyone who is dumb enough. To send Jason money to give to Emma, go yeah. fuck yourself. Yeah. I mean, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Emma has us has some. We posted it on the Delray Misfits Instagram, on uh, Facebook. Like that's where you go to donate her money. You don't donate it to Jason. They're just trying. I think they're probably trying to set you up because they know you're not. Whatever Absolutely. money you get donated to, you're not giving anybody else but yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you know exactly. So if you give Jason five cents, they can get to go to Emma. Go ahead and inject potassium chloride directly into your heart. <laughs> Blow it up. Yeah. It'll stop it from beating is what it will do. If, if, whatever money is donated to Jason is going to go to Jason. He's not sharing any of it. Or so. Jane. Or Jane. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm sharing it on a It goes to Jane's Christmas vodka fund. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... we sh We'll have a we'll have a party at my place and we can watch Jane sneak well, shots know, at every fucking bottle that I own. <laughs> I talked to you. She about did it last night. Yeah. That night, she called me up. She was all frantic, and I had to kind of talk her off the ledge a little bit. Yeah. And she told me, "You don't even have access to any of that money, do you?" No, no. So, if you're sending Jason money, thinking it's gonna go to Emma, Jason doesn't even have the ability to transfer it to Emma, withdraw it for Emma. So. 
That was a, a anyway. Enough about that. Enough about. What are you that pointing shit. at? This garbage. You're oh. crinkling the bag right by the fucking microphone. Uh, what do you want? Got toilet juice, toilet juice, water. Juice. Orange juice. Drink out of the sink. Want me to get it for you, Chief? Yeah, Sit down. I'll serve you. Sit uh, because she'll just fucking spill it everywhere. Yes, sir, Mister Jason. Like, Orange juice coming right up. Yes, sir. It's like dealing oh, with the fucking ten-year-olds. What do you got in that fucking bottle, Leonard? My PM vitamins. All right, swallow. Okay, swallow them before you fucking speak, idiots. Jesus Christ. You been to the gym lately, Jason? You look like dog shit. I've been sleeping because I have my. Pick up the microphone. I've been sleeping late because I got my meds. When? Two days ago. Two days ago, so I've you been sleeping. You mind divulging the names of your meds you're currently on, Jason? For hyperness. Name of the meds, Spe uh, specifically? Holodrol. Holodrol is a pro hormone that's on the ban list. Yeah, it's Haldol or something. It's not Haldol. 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 It's don't the, it's it. the Haldol. fucking savor it. It's, it's, the once it. A month, it's the once a month. Gaspari Haldol. It's the once a month antipsychotic shot that fucking puts him in, you know, turns him into a zombie for a couple days. They and actually then, use that for schizophrenics too. Yeah, well, the shoe fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's your sex drive on the Haldol, Jason? <laughs> Good. Boners up the ass. What do you? Yeah, when you, you do get boners up your ass. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Freudian slip, Jason? Yeah, Mexican one. Yes. Jason, when you look at porn, what is your yeah, favorite Puerto kind Rican of, lady boys? What's yeah. the favorite kind that gives you a hard on? Uh, what's your go-to? And why would we want to know this anyway? Yeah, it's a good you question. Have to go there, Lenny. Yes. It's a good English question. Spanish chicks with hot ass boobs. English and Spanish and chicks. With hot Spanish speaking English speaking Spanish chicks. There you go. With sp hot ass tits and nice ass and nice bouncy right. tits and ass. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> nice, nice you curves. Like them, you like them curvy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Everything nice about it. nice hair. Everything. Yeah. You drink that oh. like you've never like you haven't. I'll sleep better than knowing know. that, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So we know what we. I think you could even get laid in the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> so Lenny, I did some recon on that place called Extra. Mm -hmm. I went to their website. I sent Brad a screenshot. Yeah, that's decent. Well, <laughs> that depends on what your preference is, but yeah, I think you'd have a good time there. Everyone who works there is a pre-op tranny. Yeah. And if you go to the website, you'll see they have all these yeah. pictures of your waitresses and bartenders, and you'd be a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So we'll have to make a, a road trip. Yeah. I think. And a street trip, too. Yeah, there it is. That's it. Looks like a high class club. Well, we can change that. Well, at least Brad's welcome. It says gays. Gays! <laughs> 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 fuck. Or I wish I was born that way. Would have saved me a lot of heartache. comes to town and go. Would have fucking What's saved me a lot of heartache curious? for sure. Can someone define that? By curious. Jason, you want to take a stab at that? <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> bi curious. If you had to define bi curious. I don't know what it means. Well, you know what bi means? It's half yeah. a fact. You know what curious means? But yeah. Combine the two. Bi sexual. Bi, bi curious. What does it mean if you're bi? You, you like girls or women? <laughs> you like guys. Girls or women. Both. Means both. Yeah. both. 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 And what does it mean to be curious? Both liking both. No, oh dude. my fucking god! <laughs> this I swear to God. I don't know, curious. You definitely. What did. is it, what is this the is, word? This curious is this mean? educational what? system bi in this fucking no, country forget right the word, here. Forget the word by. Do you have a high word? school diploma? Yeah, special. Isn't that fucking something? He doesn't even know what. From curious what high school? Means. I don't know what it means. I never heard of it. Uh, no. <laughs> Curious George, you ever watch that Ignorance fucking cartoon? Ignorance is bliss, Jason. Yeah, exactly. You're Ignorance lucky. Ignorance is bliss. It's good to not have any fucking yeah. shame. It's good to be a simpleton. You could go through life fucking very easily, man. And being a, simp a simple, stress. simple redneck, that's pretty easy, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> simple redneck, that's me. Simple redneck. No, he's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm the simple redneck. <laughs> <laughs> talking about you, you dope. You're, sim you're, you're simple, but you're not a redneck. Yeah, I'm simple. Simple plastic. <laughs> <laughs> J Jason, are you going to be free next Monday night? Why? Just say yes. You're going to be free next Monday you night? You have to be I, here next Monday night. You have night. to be here you, next Monday Even night. those people aren't going to want to hear this because they hate you on these fucking podcasts because you're annoying as fuck guess who but we... next but next week you have to be here uh-huh we have uh we have a guest lined up who a lot of people have been wanting to hear on here and you got to be here for it and that'll be the last one until after the new year because christmas day is a monday That's and right. new, so year's new year's day, day. is a monday and wonder who it is <clears throat> and 
one do I order that? What do you think? You got to up spoil everyone with your I presents, know who it Brad. Is. You remember the game show? Yes, actually. <laughs> Don't do Christmas it. Christmas tree and everything. Let Don't me. do like it. it. It looks good. Don't do it. What if I got you a gift? Would you accept it? Yeah, what? Lucy's ass. Okay, so you said yeah. What are you trying to talk him out of doing? Giving Being my a kid, cookie cutter. Giving my kids mainly. Christmas gifts. Being a cookie cutter. All right, now what? What are you running? Who invented that idea? I don't know. Good Give question. Will I do Good it? Question. Did you invent know. it? No. no. You're right. I don't Spoils like it. Spoils kids. I fucking work my well, Put your foot down no, and stop it. Is it. I don't is get it, much. I work my dick off all month. And then all the extra money I make, I just fucking spend on You'd be a better gifts. father if you said, no, I'm not doing it. And I'm yeah. like, here's why. Show some tough love. I think his yeah. kids you know would disagree lot, with yeah, that. Yeah, you know a lot about being a father. You know what? They end up respecting you Look what your you father more. did, yeah. You know, I respect him to this day because of it. Yeah. Let me guess who it is. Because you're not going to be like all the other punks and wimps walking around town. No way. You're not going to be able to guess. Yeah, you will. PJ Braun? No. Adam Harper? Maybe. <laughs> if he shows. <laughs> yeah, I, I set it up. <laughs> Adam Harper. <laughs> so we, we should be good to go for a week from tonight. The coach, the original coach. <laughs> the original coach. The coach killer. How do you do burpees in my living room? Yeah. Yeah, that should be fun. Burpee. Take your burpees. So he had you in yourself. agony, I understand it. Yeah, he had me in agony. Well, that endurance shit's painful. Yeah. Yeah, it is no joke, man. It, it... But then again, in a way, it is a joke because a lot of it's not applicable unless you're doing a long DOC Well, I'm, I'm type saying fighter. as far as getting your, you know. It, it seemed like it was getting good. Getting winded. It, 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 it was good for Jason <laughs> for short-term success and gains because I remember Adam Adam said, the only thing I ever promised anyone is that I would get Jason a six-pack of abs, and he did. And just when it was really starting to come in and you were really starting to see the abs come in, Jason went off the rails. Yeah. You know why he went off the rails? Because Jason started, remember, we talked about this. Jason started starving himself because Adam was basically dangling things in front of Jason. If you can get to 170, I'll give you an iPhone. And if you can get to this weight, I'll give you that. So instead of working for it to hit these milestones, Jason just starved himself. So he started he getting muscle. weak, cranky. He lost muscle. He had no energy, and he threw in the towel. What did you have to do for Bravo to get the PS4? I didn't get the PS4. Okay. No. Whatever you say, pal. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> There's no way you you don't pay for shit out of your own pocket. Yeah, I get. I get. I no, get, you uh, don't. The glass is empty, fucking. Jason. You can't lie to me, man. Oh, boo -hoo. Where are you well, going? Yeah, see, he gets up and walks away. <laughs> I hit a nerve. Where are you going? Why are you I hit an because I hit a nerve. Because you, you'll have fucking. This is the same asshole that'll have a hundred dollars in his pocket, but he'll ask you for a dollar because he doesn't want to spend his own fucking money. <laughs> Hence the name, the Iron Extortion. The Iron Extortion. <laughs> Boy, you don't want to talk about what you had to do for that, huh? Mm -hmm. Jason, sit down. Stop pacing back This is why forth. it's not a good format for you. You can't yeah. just sit down, you know, and have a, a, a conversation. Because I'm getting bashed right now. It's bashing Bash you. Bash him back. Why don't you be quiet, you oh, rag doll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You rag doll. Yeah, strawberry rag doll. sandwich. Uh, strawberry sandwich. <laughs> you <laughs> post boy. Bash <laughs> him back or defend yourself, but don't start pacing Why don't around. you be quiet, you poster boy? <laughs> do one or the other. You want that microphone up your asshole. You mailman prick. <laughs> That's the best you can come. It's so stupid. It's not even <laughs> Mailman prick. <laughs> here we go. It's going to ruin a whole other podcast. <laughs> yeah, this dope here. It's, <laughs> it's piss. Jason, I'm not going to tell you again not to say that. All right, buddy. All right, you fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Such a fucking moron. <laughs> Such a, a oompus, oompa loompa. So, so what are you taking now? What are you running? Anything? Hopefully nothing, because you look like garbage. <laughs> nothing. What are you running? Nothing. Good. <laughs> look. Uh, it's sick. Oh, my God. Oh, Jason. I can't, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. Just, just pack up your shit and leave. Please. I can't help myself. <laughs> you can't help yourself. <laughs> 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 They're asking why you're here because we wanted to talk about this bullshit that happened over the weekend. Holy shit! What is that? Let me see. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's a picture of Lenny Shrek, Christina's Fiona, uh, <laughs> and me. That's you're been, the jackass, I'll the fucking you donkey. Maybe that's that's an idea for a shirt. Oh, you know who we need to shout out? And Dale's a fucking. Let me see Dale. He's on there. Yeah, he's pushing. Let's see. He's pushing boots. The little cat. 
Oh, man. That needs to be made a shirt. That Christina is awesome on there. That, thank you very much. Hold that on, made let, me find my out, day. let me find out who this was. That's, that needs to be on a shirt. Yeah. Oh, the, Dale Puss in Boots. The Gruskovac man. The Gruskovac man. Thank you. Thank you very Snapchat, much. Snapchat, yeah. Also, Brad, what's the, the name I of the IG it. user who made the Lenny game? Oh, fuck. I got to look Hold that on. up. Lenny, you got to watch this. Let me give the guys Instagram accounts so everyone can. You guys want to see some funny shit? Go Is to, that Lenny's uh, mop? Was it Lenny's no. mop that did not? Here's his Instagram account. I'll just spell it out. H O U G A A R D C L A U S. Hugard Claus. Lenny, check this out. This guy made. It's a Lenny game. <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're riding your bike through the hood. <laughs> and I think he's going to make it a more elaborate game now that we sort of... <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That may take yeah. off. That's fucking funny, isn't that it? That may take off. Who guard claws? Check it out. His Instagram. You got our full backing on that. Good luck. Just remember me when it gets big time. Remember the maniacs. Jason's, <laughs> Jason's packing Jason, up his Jason's tripod. packing up his Jason, shit. Jason, that should be the podcast. He got to say it's sick. It's that pissed stays five here, times, Jason. and now he can fucking leave. That stays here. We have one. Nate brought me one. Okay, so, yeah. so you got a better one than Jason got, right? Yeah, because it's from Nate. Oh. Nate's got all the best shit. Oh. He, he put, Nate's got all the subscribers, now, too. Now Jason's in his oh, coattails. Those, those are fighting words, Lenny. <laughs> Jason pretended he didn't hear you say that. So in other words, Nate blows Jason away. And subscribers, yes. Really? Absolutely. No kidding. I didn't know that. Jason, <laughs> Jason's been stuck on 42,500 for like a year now. Jason, you know why? Because you didn't come in ripped. That's number one. Number two that's is... That's simple. That's number one, Nobody two, three, four, and five. Because I've been telling Jason that forever. <laughs> like and, the last five shows And worth. it's making videos where he walks around in circles repeating himself a hundred times. Jason, are you getting shape for the Diana Cadu? You know how many hits I got? Jason, take a seat. That's Coral Springs. That's competitive. Yeah, it's a big show. Yeah, I think I should do it. It's much bigger than the Ruby. Yeah, I think we should, should do it. See the girls down there? Do them both. Do them both. We'll be in there and I could do. It's one month apart, right? Yeah. Back to back shows. Your eyes. You don't want to do the Ruby again? No, I want to veil a monstrous physique at the Diana Cadu. Do the Diana. Diana Cadu. I'm going to do the Diana Cadu with Lenny. Well, it was your idea. So. It's a, it's a, it was his idea? Yeah. Just like last year with Dale was his idea. You, you he just you, jumped into that shit. He you, wasn't even a part of it. Right. And you can't go on stage looking like you did at the Ruby this well, year. Well, when do you think I should die it down? I don't know. What would you Lenny. ask us? You I'll fucking ask asshole. Asshole. You're the, the one, one that's supposed to be a professional. You don't know? I think I should die it in March. June uh, 1st. God. June 1st? I die for the Ruby no, June he should 1st. Start I die for the Diana June 1st. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're in different shape than him. Because uh, consistent with the he's, dying. He looks like he's never lifted a fucking weight. Because you're not ripped. You got ripped. The muscle's going to show, Jason. So March, I'll he start... He looks like a power lifter with no fucking power. Because he's not ripped. I'll start... I'll start... I think I'll start dieting. You don't in, have to. You need to do it correctly. So I'll start dieting in March. No, June 1st. You got to build. June 1st. Build, Lenny, build, build. Lenny, take him under your wing for the Diana could do. Seriously. I tell you what. You guys should train to get... He lives right here, Jason. You belong to the same gym. You can Jason, pick him up. You, you can pick him if up. If you don't get in shape, I'm going to I'm gonna purposely start sticking capsules down your throat. And I'm not going to say what they are. <laughs> Jason, you pick... You have I'm nothing to do. I'm capsules down your throat. Pick, pick Lenny up. You go to LA Fitness in Delray. You're both members there. You All right, but here's together. the problem. Here's the problem. Every time I call you, you don't answer. Because I'm probably sleeping and trying to grow. Well, that's the, the time. The well, time. you got to set up a schedule. you got to set up a schedule. Let's set up a schedule. Jason, just it's just a matter of consistency on the diet. You don't even even have the lift. If you got rid of that fat, oh, don't say. Put it this way, honest to God, listen. You can't tell him that shit. If Jason dieted without training, he would look better than if he trained out like a pig because there's fat he needs to take off of. He has muscle that's on him from years of lifting; it's not going away. Case in point, myself. When I was in the hospital all those times, I stuck with the diet. Therefore, I was able to come in, you know, not as good as I like, but. You know, pretty, you know, ripped considering because of the diet. You know, even Dorian Yates said that he tore his tricep. He avoided the area for almost a month before an Olympia. And he still looked good because he stayed on the diet. You see, he thought to himself, you're lifted heavy all these years. Muscle stuff's not going to go away like that. As long as you keep on your pharmaceuticals and your diet. So then I think not I... Training to me should be the most simple piece of cake. You go in there and put tension on the muscle. Heavy tension. 
not high reps, not no reps between sets, none of that crap. Straight sets, six to 10, six to 12 reps. It's that simple. Couple hard sets, maybe three if you don't hit it hard enough. Basic movements, do some isolation movements, compound movements, stretch movements. Go do a compound movement like squats and go into a machine movement. Once your proprioceptors receptors are fatigued, you can continue to hit it harder with the machine, but just you still stick with the same kind of weight. The tension, feel the tension. Don't lock out. Don't worry about doing strict power reps. Worry about keeping that tension on the so muscle. So how many months do you think I should bulk right now? I'd bulk six months. Bulk. Start the first. Start the Give it a good six months until June 1st. Okay. Bulk, 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 and some more bulk. <laughs> Stuff that I need every three hours. Stuff it you down know, your face. Heavy carbs before mm-hmm. early morning and whatever. It depends on the type of your, your training. Drink water, eat, get the new World Nutritionals protein. Who knows? It may give you a sponsorship if you come in ripped. Yep. You know, that's some good quality stuff. And I'm damn glad that they picked me because they're not going to be sorry. But thanks to New World, they're going to really, really help me look like a freak at the Diana. I'm going to look like a freak with you. We're going together in this, Letty. Yes, and I'm talking about ripped. Ripped, ripped, ripped. as fuck. That's good, right? His coat ripped doesn't now. mean not eating. Ripped means eating so frequently you're sick of it. Sick of it. The right kind of stuff. Stimulate metabolism. Coat Letty. Drinking nothing but water and your New World Nutrition protein shakes. Yep. Listen to the information you have access yes. to, Jason. He it's never does. He's, he's, it's a joke. Jason, it's that simple. You're gifted in the leg department. Your legs are there. Just a little fine-tuning. That's it. Just a little fine-tuning? You should be in that gym. And see, he's a complete fucking hour. overhaul. No more than an hour should anybody ever be in a gym lifting. When should I start doing cardio? Three weeks? Three months before? June, show? June. Do it like Lee Priest. He started his diet and cardio simultaneously. June. Which I believe in. You want a crash diet because it's, you'll lose less muscle that way. Okay. Your body will just be eat, throwing fat off it like it's no tomorrow shrinking your fat cell more specifically well but now you want to fill it up and not get fat but fill it up with nutrients it needs number one protein number two water uh-huh. then your carbs especially after the workout your simple carbs your sugars after the workout you know what my mom got me what was gonna help me what? i'm gonna eat protein shake a new dildo I, no a new <laughs> blender to blend my protein powder Nothing like protein and oats. Mm-hmm. She's, she's tired of That's you simple. fucking stealing her dildo, so she got you your <laughs> own. Get the New World Nutrition Protein. Yeah. No stomach bloat, and you're able she to eat it. She probably has, like, a dildo flask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Sneak drinks out of it. She's yeah, fucking... Like, I've seen that. She's pumping herself. A dildo that. flask? Yeah. That mean, that actually exists? Yeah. There he goes to his phone. Where are you going? He doesn't want to talk about his mom's sex toys that he fucking steals. <laughs> Did you ever have Jason in the emergency room with something crammed up his ass? No. no. Oh. Jason's not a sicko like half a Delray. Yeah. Like half a Delray? They call Jason like 80%. 80%. Yeah. Yeah. Jason at least has some thing. common sense. Half a Delray. You sit down. I can't stand you. Keep getting up and fucking pacing around like yeah. a child. What it is is Jason Sit down and have a conversation tension. or fucking He has leave. sexual tension. He's trying to transmute it. <laughs> yeah, transmute Which is a smart thing to do. <laughs> my cat's hiding. Exactly. Why? Sexual tension. He's trying to trans whatever. Because they says. know when the simpletons, you know, ready to fucking molest them. <laughs> <laughs> so have you spoken to what, to Mike P? Is that his last no, name? That's Mike T. Mike T. Have you spoken to him since he was on here? Yeah, he almost beat the hell out of the neighbor in front of my house. What happened? Well, he came over, gave me a huge cardboard box with 10 cases of strawberries in it. One for everybody. Well, if they're in your refrigerator, you can keep them in your fucking refrigerator. Worst comes to worst, I'll slice them up. anything that's been I'll put them in the freezer. I'll slice them up. That's okay. You can keep that. So anyways, the the power's out. We had a bad storm. We had a bad storm. We had a bad storm. The power's out. And, uh, I've seen what's in your fridge. You think I'm going to eat anything that comes out of that fucking refrigerator, Leonard? You already did. What? Unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst to you. <clears throat> what? You did. Did I? Yeah. What the fuck did I eat out of your fridge? Now I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> you already did. It's not why you're sick or anything. I got to go, in. It's not why you're blowing you up. You have to go. Yeah, because I got to go. So anyways, upload this video. thank God. Get the fuck out of here. You want to go upload that video you filmed? Go upload yeah. the video proclaiming his innocence. Yeah. Yes, it's sick and- you're not being filmed, Jason. You don't have Jason, to do a front double bicep. Leave us pro- proclaiming your freakiness with your arms. Whoa. We're getting a rear double bicep in my Viewers, dining room. Take this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. this look at this freakiness. <laughs> if, Freaky bulk. Baby. This is what you don't want to look like if you're going to become a fucking <laughs> I'm bulking. Bulk. I'm bulking. It's uh, you're bulk. always fucking bulking. Bulking year round, baby. Bulk till June 1st. Bulk till June 1st. January 1st, I'm putting it into high gear, Dale. 
You're not allowed to do a bulk cycle yeah, anymore. June Sorry 1st, to hear it. I'm cutting down the fat. Shrinking the fat cells. Oh my god. Shrinking the fat cells. This Jason, that's all I hear. Yeah, this is right it. here. Remember that? Oh. Remember the trainer with the dreadlocks in that video? Went like this to you? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I, I gotta. I forgot to. But Jason, I gotta go put. My, I gotta go put my boots Jason, on. Jason, the trainer with the dreadlocks. Thick around here. The nobody. The nobody. And you're the worst, one of the most popular people that ever lived. Yeah. So tell, give him a shout out, Mr. Nobody. For being trainer. the biggest the fucking out. train wreck the on YouTube. The dreadlocks. There's right there. In the shout Did out. he invent the dreadlock look? No, he copied off somebody. I don't like copycat cookie cutters. I have no respect for him. He copied off somebody. Jason can't wait to upload that video. That's all he's thinking about. Right? Look at him. He, he's got to right, get So home. he get a whole 2,000 fucking views. It'll get a million dislikes and one like. The one like is from him. <laughs> well, you'll get, it'll get five likes because they'll hear your voice in it and five likes because they'll hear my voice in it. All right, Jason, shall I let you out? Yes. All right. Right. Everybody stand when bow when Jason leaves the room. Find your way out. All right, Maniac. Sorry for the news, but Save Jason's leaving. The what do you mean sorry for the news? They're fucking... Now they're going to start listening to the podcast. At the <laughs> 46 minute mark, Jason's uh, gone. Uh, Brad, I love that picture that guy sent with Christina. How fucking funny is that? That's, that's a, that needs to be on a t-shirt. Did you ever see that cartoon? Never. Shrek? Shrek? You, yes, I was called Shrek in my first show. You never saw Matter of sh- fact, it's on the yeah, tape that I gave you guys. You know, I didn't put on the, the first tape. People were shouting Shrek from the audience. Oh, yeah. And I said, why don't you come up here and say that to me? Well. And that place was packed. That was at the Fort Lauderdale Auditorium. That place was packed. The Diana can't do. No, it was a Southern States. It's the biggest show. One of the biggest. Oh, shows that's the show. that's the video with uh, Kalora that we got to put on too. Yeah. Lenny, yeah. tell the story with Mike. Who did he almost beat up? Well, my neighbor. You know, the power went out. We had a little rainstorm that morning. Yeah, fucking Saturday, that storm that came through yeah. knocked out like five thousand homes without power because of that little oh, fucking. Shit. Bit. Yeah. So I opened the Real door and, some rain. and I couldn't cook. I wanted to cook some steak. I had an arm workout to do. So here comes Mike with the strawberries. He's like, oh, they should stay. The power should be too long. So my neighbor comes right they to the door. They grow outside anyway. The door's open. He, says to, he goes to Mike, hey, nice car. Uh, my wife's coming home from the grocery store and you're in her space. And Mike looked at me and says, yeah, I'll move it. So Mike was talking to me. It was about 10 or 15 more minutes. Then a guy comes right back to my front door, which was open at the time. He oh, says, oh, boy. Uh, going like this to Mike, he goes, uh, you going to move your car? And then Mike says, he goes, what the fuck's wrong with you? Just a neighbor with the dog yeah. right next to your yeah. house? Okay. In front, no, it's in front of the house. Okay. He There's shares a couple. the house with him, yeah. Yeah, this guy, he stays in the house all day. He's like, and when he, Mike told me, and he, Mike says, is this guy not allowed to have a car in front of his house? He has a bike. I said, what's the problem? This guy never has a car in front of his house. And the guy said, well, I told you, my wife. He goes, I don't care what you said. There's, a, it, room, there's room for another car, right? Right. Yeah, fuck and so that. the guy says to Mike, Oh, you're a big guy and all that. I know the deal. You're going over to Lenny's. Lenny's, you're getting your steroids from Lenny, and Lenny's supplying you. That's the deal. And Mike looked at me. He goes, I haven't taken him in 20 years. He goes, thanks for the compliment. And he, then uh, he goes, and besides, he goes, what the heck? Don't, don't say shit. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the guy says, oh, Mike says, I had to kick your ass right now. <laughs> and the guy walked by. He goes, I'll call the police. He says, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I don't get, man. What if you had a car? You can't park your fucking yeah. car there. So in other words, when everyone comes up, they're all coming for their steroids, according to my neighbor. Fuck your neighbor. Yeah, fuck him, piece of shit. He has black, his teeth are black. Yeah, tell, him to go, tell him to go smoke some more meth. Yeah, exactly. Fucking, that that's a fucking meth mouth. Didn't Richard have to move his car when we were there? Big Richard? I think all of us did at yeah. one point, and I said, what the fuck, you're not allowed to have a car? Well, your right. street is so narrow. Yeah, yeah, those streets in that neighborhood If are you terrible. park on the street, you're blocking two-thirds even so, of the she street. wasn't even home yet. He's just worried. When she pulls in with the groceries. Oh, because he, he's the fucking, she wears the pants in the family. Well, it's funny. When I try to get on the internet, you know what his password or keyword says? There's a, you got to get more into the password, but it says like open lines. It says bitches run this house. Wow. <laughs> so that's, oh, that's the fucking, that's his. the router for, uh, for yeah. the Wi-Fi. Bitches Ouch. run this house. That tells you everything you need to know. Exactly. What a fucking douche. By the way, you know, the Dolphins are playing. I know, they're playing the Patriots. I don't don't even want to watch that fucking... Did you see that game in Buffalo in the snow? It was great. Holy shit. They were like playing in a foot of snow the whole time. It was not stopping. Indianapolis didn't even throw the ball in the first half, I don't think. They tried to kick one field goal. I'm going to that porch monkey quarterback. Oh, Oh, God. God. 
I wouldn't throw a fight with them. And then you see that guy on Seattle almost try to get in. Actually, it wasn't. It wasn't that quarterback. Yeah, it was, I saw that. It was the it was the white quarterback, Peterman, the backup. Oh, yeah, Taylor yeah. went out last yeah, that's week. Right, yeah. So you're wrong. You're racist. It was a third Fuck. string quarterback. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I saw that. But that Seattle. Yeah, so went through defensive beer lineman. On he lost his shit. They should have let him go it's into the like crowd. It's like what happened with uh, Ron Artest. Correct. When he was playing with the, with the Pacers, right. and it was he, in Detroit. Right. The malice hit the palace. Yeah, it was fuck. I remember I was watching that game live, too. I'm like, how the fuck? Well, he actually made it into the crowd. Yeah, man. And then I, Jermaine O'Neal went into the crowd, too. I think it was Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah. No, no. Um, Steven Jackson. If I was in the crowd, I'd be like, please hit me. You know? Yeah, no settlements. Shit. Well, and that, I don't know who got settlements out of that case. But, you know, yeah, if I was that player and they were throwing beer and ice, you know what i do? i come but, up and try to catch it in my mouth. You should have never let him play. Use reverse again. psychology. You can't go attack fucking fans. For, for those, no, for, there's no excuse for, for that. For fucking ban them for life. How many wrestlers got hit with batteries all the time? For those who live overseas and don't know what we're talking about, go on YouTube and look up Malice at the Palace. Detroit Pistons versus Indiana Pacers. It is the most out-of-control, insane brawl you will ever see at a professional sporting event. They went one into the fucking stands. Yeah. It was fucking great. It's the players versus the fans. Yeah. It just, <laughs> boy. I mean, And then that fuck, he changes his name to Meta World Peace. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> well, it's predecessor by another fucking person. Ignoramuses. I remember Lloyd Free back in the 70s changed his name to World Be Free. Yeah, I remember that. Well, if it's free, go ahead and fight for it. Like the rest <laughs> no, of us do. No. You're the only people who never fought for your freedom on this planet. You don't deserve it. When did you ever fight? <laughs> when did you? you My people free. fought. Your people. My people fought for years <laughs> against all corners of the earth. The Russians, the Germans, the Brits. You name it. They fought. And the dumb Polacks were everywhere. The problem is they go to Africa and pick and choose. Bring them back in the cowards and chains. You know, I'd, I'd like to say otherwise, but I never saw anything. You know, they try to save the Zulu nation with their, their spear chuckers. They didn't oh do my shit. God. They got their ass whipped, <laughs> just like the American Indians did. Then they get a, you get a reservation out of it because you lost. Because you're either a pussy or have the, don't have the intelligence to <laughs> develop any weapons. That's you deserve what you get. You deserve to be a slave. They have and who some, freed you? The white some, man. They have some racket. Man. How many they white? Know, how many white men have died? Was it five hundred thousand white men died for you? You know, you never earned anything. I won't go to these these Indian reservation casinos like uh, the Hard Rock. I don't. I don't want to subsidize those. Yeah, pay no taxes. That's right. Thing I'll subsidize is, is, is the crack cores and the trannies. Just as bad At as least you're earning your money. Church. That's right. You know, I'm actually going to the Hard Rock Thursday night. For what? Comedy show. Bill Burr. Borefest. Nah, he's good, man. You'd Borefest. like him. You would. I doubt it. You'd like all the guys I listen to. You would. Doubt it. Well, you have a sense of humor somewhere. Do you listen to any comedians? No, they're cookie cutters. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Far from it. Actually, the people that are serious, the cookie cutters, I look to them for comedy with their stupidity, everybody copying off each other. To me, that's comedy. Go to the gym, you see all those cookie well, cutters in the Fitness office. Yeah. The afternoon oh, and you see Brad was just Oh, there. my God, man. I went on Saturday afternoon. Did I go Friday, too? Yeah. The one in Del Rey is bad. Man, Jesus. there's this fucking kid. He was. This is another pet peeve of mine. Playing his music on his fucking phone. Mm -hmm. Out li like, put on your headphones, you fucking jerk off. You think I want to hear your shit music? What kind of music was it? Well, take a fucking guess. Cookie cutter music. He was as dark as this fucking chair, so you can only imagine what kind of dark shit. Dark as the ace of space. Well, it's cookie. It's not, nothing's ever really Lifted no weight. He just had to show, cookie cutter. show off that he listens to, it's like, dude, I don't want to hear your shit. Yeah. Put, put your headphones on. Show it's bad enough you got to listen to the shit music they play in the gym, but now I got to right. hear this fucking show asshole's some originality. Music. Like my father used to say, you don't go to the gym, you don't go to the, be entertained. You're going to put your headphones on on the football field and listen to music? That's what he said in the weight room. He goes, is there music on the field? Is there music in the, in the boxing ring, in the fighting rings, in the street fights? In between fights? rounds no. and, and, and quarters they do. Even in between downs they do now. Yeah. They play music. In the NBA, they play at every possession. Oh, even I believe when it. Yeah, even when I believe it because the players yeah. want it, the yeah. cookie cutters. Well, it's all about the fan experience Well, now. the cookie cutters. Yeah. Anybody who goes pays an NBA game is a cookie cutter. I don't know. Crew. All sports are better, except for hockey, uh, are better to be watched on TV now. Exactly. The TVs are so fucking Hockey, nice. you have to watch in person. You, you, yeah. It I, doesn't translate on TV no, at not all. not even close. I used to like going to the hockey no. games when they... It, HD, large screen TVs changed everything. People would rather 
Where would you rather watch your game? At the stadium in a blizzard like the other day or in your living room on a 65 inch 1080p GTV? I yeah. know where I'd rather be. Get to see all the intricate line matchups. That's what Plus, I got my, you know, I got my bathroom two feet away. I got my That's bar right. right there. You go to a game. You got night. your broad right there. <laughs> Say bar or broad? Bar. Both. <laughs> I don't Hell, know. I watched the Dolphins play the, uh, the Cowboys. The dear Leon Lett fumbled yeah. guess where i was watching i bought my mother's car she played football played central very feminine and we watched it we watched the dolphin game together yeah. after we getting into it oh, god and she was just like watching with a guy it's great because well, she is a fucking guy yeah, you moron basically didn't look like it uh-huh i don't know what to say about this shit anymore i know exactly watching what to say it's all cookie cutters they make me sick is your TV on or something? In my bedroom. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a ESPN. You're not Tigers. watching NBA, are you? No. I was considering buying a league pass package this year so I can watch Knicks games, but I don't do it. I am not. Good, good, not good choice. Good choice. If they, you'll see enough of them, they make the playoffs. Exactly. See enough of them in Delray Beach. <laughs> Adam just messaged. He says he's sending the package out tomorrow. Where's the kratom at? No, no, this is another Adam. Yeah, where is the kratom, Mr. Pollard? Good question. Who knows? Still waiting on them. Where's my Christina at, maniacs? Has anybody come through? Any Canadian maniacs? New York? Milan, Italy, or wherever the goddess oh, should be? The shirts will be ready tomorrow. Just message me. I like. I want that. Okay, they didn't, they I want permission for that Shrek good. shirt to be made and marketed. We don't need it. We don't need permission for that. Well, we, I would do that. That's a great shirt. Yeah, but that's a screen print. It do it. Yeah. That would be great. They could do better than that. Yeah. Come on, you got Dale Chance as a little cat. Hey, he's make so one. small. That's make what he one. looks like. Make a little one cat. for you to wear. That's it. Yeah, please do. That's well, easy. We'll work on it. Dale. And to anyone who's ordered any of the new shirts that just needs mop shirt or anything, um, like Brad just said, we're going to be getting them all tomorrow or the next day, and we'll work on filling the orders and shipping them out hopefully by this weekend. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday the 12th. Yeah. You probably won't hear this till when? This will be uploaded tomorrow night, by tomorrow night, Tuesday night. Tomorrow night, so by then hopefully we'll have shit ready to go. We got hats yeah. too. People asked about hats. Okay. Good hats. I don't think one will fit. You don't wear hats, though. No. Jason wants to do pink Enjoy the Mint hats for his female fan. Well, you better order Jason, it. Jason's getting the snapback kind with the flat brim, the fucking... Yeah. The, the wig, the wig, the wig, the that's a good hats. idea. I hate those fucking flat have. brim hats. I, order, order I, ordered, I, ordered, them. I ordered the flex fit, regular cap. It's fitted. You don't have the, the no snapback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Large, there's large... So will be able to wear his backwards? Yeah. Like a cookie cutter. Like a 15 year old. Did yeah. you originate that, Dale? Even Mark doesn't wear his cap backwards. Dale. Well, Mark, told you, Mark told you why he wears his hat like that to keep the light out of his eyes. <laughs> Lenny just rolled his eyes. <laughs> what is he, Count Dracula? <laughs> keep the light out. Hey, he suffers what from light? He's albino. <laughs> I'd have a mind grade headache too if I'd never fucking jerked off on a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Let a woman stick her hands up your ass four or five at a time people have been asking about uh, Mike a lot cerebral palsy Mike have you heard anything from him no Mike's in North Carolina writing books he's an author he's doing good he what books Why don't you write a book on the autobiography of Dale cookie cutter chance and maybe on a New York Times bestseller chapter list. one the canned hunt <laughs> Chapter two, the can bodybuilding show. <laughs> Chapter three, the can profession I got from my caught my roommates in whatever crack house I lived in. You, well, I should have been in high school. You can Cha write the dedication. Chapter four. Chapter what? Th what are we on? Chapter four. Chapter four. My yeah. secret love affair with Cornelius. <laughs> Chapter five. How to get a sponsorship. <laughs> how to beg. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> fucking ruthless. <laughs> Chapter six. How to look anorexic on a bodybuilding stage. Chapter seven. How to be oversensitive about trolls. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 8, how to stuff your posing trunks and make it look real. <laughs> Don't think I'll let that slide, Dale. Uh, My eyes so wandered downward. You uh, couldn't imagine. Of course couldn't. it did, because you wanted to suck it. I wonder what the hell it was down there. <laughs> and it sure ain't real. He was, he was excited to see you. I'll bet. <laughs> Mr. Penis Extension. <laughs> Why don't you market those, Dale? By the way, how's how's the Dale Chance with Peril going? How's that going, Dale? How much money did you make off my name, Dale? Wow. Then you snubbed me and sent me shoes two sizes too small. 
<laughs> oh man, that's fucked up. You know what's so funny? Uh, we got well, not we. I got killed for trying to make you try those on wearing no socks. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, you moron, put socks on Lenny first, and have him try the sneakers on. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that'll they'll, they'll, work, Dale. Oh, they'll slide in more easily. Yeah. You put a sock on your dick before it goes up Cornelius' butt. <laughs> Cornelius posted something on Facebook today. He said he, I think he says since the first time he tore his tricep off the bone, he deadlifted 500 pounds for like 10 or 11 reps. Well, why don't you rip the yes. other one off? That's Maybe you'll nice. do it and be able to deadlift 600 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> what do you you want him to tear more muscle so he doesn't compete against you next year? You know, Dale told me Dale him and Dale will blow you. I mean, it's not blow them off. But it's not like saying Nats. anything. It's not even saying anything. So like now, it's not even an accomplishment to be you or Jason in a fucking bodybuilding. Show. I, was, I was told that Cornelius, because he's a gym owner, I may have said this on one of the previous podcasts. He plays these podcasts in the gym. To listen to. Oh. So if there's anything you want to say to any any of Cornelius's um, Actually, Cornelius, gym goers, here's you your chance. have good taste, and hopefully this motivates. Oh, see now you want to kiss mother. his ass because he knows he's listening. Yeah. Your <laughs> wife is sexy for a white girl. <laughs> for a white girl. <laughs> I pay a tribute to her every one, at least once a week, if you know what I mean. Oh, you <laughs> sick fuck. <laughs> I like the sweep of the quads and the That's hands. That's good, though. That makes him happy because at least yeah. he knows his wife's not a dog. That's good. <laughs> he told her she'd make a good tranny. He's sick fuck. That's what every woman wants. To yeah, that's, that's, that's the panty drop. That's a compliment. And that's what he thought, too. That's, that's a, a compliment. Wet. <laughs> How many black women want to look like Lisa but never will? With a 28-inch waist going steady with 60-inch hips. So Cornelius owns a gym up there? Why doesn't he yeah, buy a gym down so. here? We got a good spot for him. It's not a bad idea. It's not in his financial ballpark. Why not? We could start. Because the average median income up there is about $12,000 a Get household. the fuck out of here. I think you're way off. There's no fucking. There's no way. economic. Uh, it's fucking Hicktown. We'll start a, we'll it's start, Mayberry. We'll start a Kickstarter for you, Cornelius. Give us a number of what we'd need to open a gym down That's right. here. We, you know, we have actually tossed around the it's idea. Always a, I always propose having like a tourist attraction where you have like a bed and breakfast gym. But the thing uh, is, that, see, now you're getting stupid. Opening it up is the easy part. Sustaining it long term. Right. We need, the the, we, need, we need the membership. Don't have so much damn TVs in the fucking gym and cardio equipment. Yeah, but you have you have to attract people that want to. I don't want to attract cookie cutters. I no, you're right. I think you ought to make it a freak gym. Where transvestites can go, strippers can go, athletes, porn stars, fighters, pro wrestlers, actors, people that don't need to be around the average cookie cutter fan that's just going to bother them. Because I remember the Road Warriors had the gym in Minnesota. They called it the gym. They had a special wing. Either you had to bench 400 pounds or you had to have a national title of some sport. Or you weren't allowed in this part and area. Huh. This is back in the day. We could make a really fucking cool gym. I, I know. Because that space where World Gym was is huge. Yeah. We only need a third of that. Right. We, we don't even cut that. I have unique right. things like dumbbells up to 200 pounds and plenty of good power racks, leg press yeah, machines. Man. All that kind of stuff. The monolift where you can bench. No jump ropes. Yeah. Yeah. You jump need... ropes. If you want to jump rope, go the fuck outside. <laughs> plenty of squat racks for the ladies. You squat naked, you know? Imagine that. <laughs> Squat naked so your butt Come on, opens come on, up. Cornelius. We need an investor. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Great idea. Delray Misfits Gym. Brad and I were talking Tamika about Tamika Smelly can walk around naked. We could sell... We could... <laughs> Tamika Smelly? Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. I want the, my gym reeking at Tamika. No, thank you. Had our best workouts nope. over there smelling her... That musty, musky odor Felt like hers. a fucking dumpster. <laughs> No. That was awful, man. It's so bad because she was, uh, you know, she's a nice person, nice looking woman. Sexy she too. Just, yeah, just. Stop. Yeah, but sometimes that stink can get you off. No sometimes. way, not that stink, no. dude. That's some, that's hormonal stink. I don't know what the fuck that was. That's like a, that's a, an attraction for a real man. I think she once said it had to do with her diet. Because you it, know it permeated off her. She once told out somebody. of that. Andrew. That's a shame too. That told Andrew, that's Andrew, right. Andrew Swanson is a, is a nice guy. How could you tell a girl that, Mister Swanson? And when that you got a fucking podcast? terrible bo. I mean, what the? If you're not trying to fuck her, go ahead and tell her that. I mean, if you're working with clients, you kind of have to know. Yeah, you're stinking I, I up kinda, the equipment. I kind of got off on it. Of course, you did. Nobody else fucking did though. It's not like she's some fat, smelly, diabetic. No, I slob. know that, but man, that was just she was fucking rancid. Fuck. Ugh. That's a shame. Because I know I talk to her mother all the time. It's a shame. Uh -huh. How do you know her mom? She's a nurse. Maybe she got it right. Maybe she fixed. 
guess. <laughs> I don't understand. But anyway, if we were to open up a gym, we'd ha- we really have to think about it. You could sell your New World Nutrition products there, sell clothing. Sell everything. I tell people how to get big, what to do, what to eat. Make could sure. actually, we could actually build you a room there. You could fucking live there. I'd love to. Well, should we just throw the idea out there on this podcast? Yeah, Let's yeah. say hypothetically, we... Brad and I met with the landlord of the Old World Gym, and we were able to get the place cut in half or a third, which is all you need. How much money? Well, we would have to get a number. We need rent. We need liability insurance, electricity. You know, what's going to sustain us? And equipment. Yeah, equipment the name, and everything. The name, the worldwide attraction. So how much would it cost to start? How much would it cost to start? How much would we need to sustain it long term? See, we're going against the grain of Planet Fitness, signing people up, knowing that they're not going to go. That's how gyms make money. Right, correct. We're, that's not going to happen with us. Yeah, we want people that are serious. That's what happened to me. I joined it for $99, and I've been there three times. Yeah, I've, I've been there f- yeah, a handful. But I hate. I don't, I don't like any of the fucking gyms. I can't stand LA Fitness. I can't stand yeah, I like it either. Mark loves it. I like the machine. The, well, the equipment's good. It's just we, the fucking the Brad clientele. I, Brad, I, Brad and I both love Busybody. It's just a little too far. That's if, another good. Busybody was in Delray, that would be it. I still yeah. remember shipped to Palm Beach Gym. I, I went one time paying on it. Right, that's, so, bu- that's bullshit. Yeah. The Busybody would be that's a good. That's Coast Gym. Yeah. It wouldn't be bad. I hope that would be nice if that guy opened the gym in Delray. I just think you get a special wing for domination training where it's blocked off. Oh, Jesus. You have a room where you've got a dominatrix put you through the paces. <laughs> then you can charge 500 bucks a session, you know, have a fine hot girl. See, your, your mind just fucking See, that's a winner, though. But see, that's the thing. Why don't we just open a fucking brothel? Why not? Hey, fuck, why? Fuck why, why not? Why not? Why not? I'm with Lenny. Fuck a gym. Life is about this. You go to the gym. What do you do after the gym? You eat, maybe take a shower, sleep, and then you get horny. Everything gets taken care of there. Massages. Massages. You serve food. Massages. You do everything. You know, give enemas, all kind of sexual fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> all these young girls could be making hey. It's going to happen. It's just once these older people die off, these goody goodies, it's right. going to happen. You want to be the first to do it? I do. Let's do it. Just think in 20, 30 years, it's actually more, it'll be more open like Europe. Hopefully. As long as you keep those ragheads out of the country. So with the kick, so with the Kickstarter, it's a num- Did you look that up? No. Well, I I sort of did. My understanding of Kickstarter, and I could be wrong. If I am, someone message me and correct me. You set an amount of money you want to raise, and you either get it or you don't. Like if you fall five dollars short, you don't get any of the money. You have to meet the number. It's not like GoFundMe, where if you set the goal for five thousand and you only get three, you get three thousand. Mm, okay, but well, that's if, fair. If I'm wrong, somebody let that's us know. That's fair. So we'd probably need a, at least a hundred. To get all the equipment, yeah. get everything right, get the Sign building. Sign a lease. Well, building. I think first things first, the, the pre-workout that's going to come out, it's going to come out in 2018, I guarantee We've got to talk to that landlord, what, you and I. we got to go there. Yeah, we'll call. call yeah, we'll call. See what they want but for Like right. I said, you know, you're not going to have some Because that's a dead plaza. We Remember that get a fat, deal. obese pig that was at the front desk all those years at the old world gym, and then she went over to the new golds? You know what I'm talking about. The girl yeah, with the glasses? glasses. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want that that walrus no. sitting at your She was desk? awful. What was her name again? I forget. I think she. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, Who knows? She, yeah, she, she was... temporarily banned us from filming. I don't know if you remember that. And then I talked to her. Temporarily ban her from being out in public. She's so fat and ugly. She had no. Yeah, she was. She had no people well, look skills. Look at her. Look at her. That's why. Yeah. No, it's right. a soda drinking pig, you sixty four ounce. Big and the guy goals. that owned it before, he was like a realtor, Jerry. He was yes. a little fucking yeah. mean little shit it's too. Little homo. Yeah. Yeah. Little fat. He was certainly never there. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one to know one, Leonard. Furthest thing from it. Matter of fact, this is the furthest alpha. thing from it. You suck dick. The alpha You're not males. the furthest thing from it. You have the sucked alpha fucking males dick. are into the feminine trannies. I read that online. Psychology. The most alpha males are into the feminine trannies. You read that online. And they also aware. said that yeah, exactly. black women Don't are a perfect match with white men. I know we've we've heard all that. Before. But that's true. The most alpha males are into the feminine training. I think a lot of black women like white men. I think they feel like they control a white. Well, I heard it's because black men will slap the shit out. I heard it because, right. like Brad, for instance, not so much me and you, but they're mesmerized by the blue eyes. They yes. see a white man, especially with blue eyes, said they're mesmerized. It's like a jewel that they they want to have so bad. Because they watch soap operas, or the, you know, the number one. We need to get a black the hood rats podcast. Yeah. On, on the hood rats on shit. welfare. They're like sitting around. They know all the soaps all day. They just sit around dreaming a white Paige man. Paige and Carla Dunlop. They're mesmerized by it. Well, she got one. She got a white man. Does he have blue eyes? I don't know. Con, maybe not. But Brad's got hazel eyes. 
All right, Leonard. Let me see, Brad. Yeah, they're they are That's light brown the black hazel. One they're mesmerized by Brad. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Fuck you ever is see the operation you? that they do where they change your eye color? You yeah. ever watch that on YouTube? Yeah. I think they do that in South America a lot. It's a big, yeah. big thing that they. Yeah, there's a transsexual with blue eyes. She's black. Looks, looks great. She has her hair dyed blue. She's <sighs> from Brooklyn. Really cute, athletic body. Did you just fart? No, my stomach growled. Oh, she just fucking squeezed out a fart of her. <laughs> Is that a Freudian <laughs> slip? That was me about 20 minutes ago. I guess, <laughs> I guess you missed it. <laughs> I smelled something. I thought Kimbo fucking laid a shit over. Carla Dunlap would come over here and blow a few farts my way <laughs> from Miss Olympia. I haven't seen her. No. Her and Linda Murray. Hey, again, guy. Brad goes to the Delray one. I go to Boca, so he would see I'm her going before. earlier now because I got to start at 7 o'clock in the morning. Why? It's fucking season. It's season of cookie cutters. You should see all the shit we get. Man. I believe it. Amazon. But it, once Amazon gets their own trucks, bye-bye. We won't have that account anymore. We make more money off of UPS anyway. You know what you... Amazon pays the postal service like $2 a package. That's it. UPS, we deliver more of their... We make more money off of them delivering their shit because they can't handle it. <laughs> yeah. But Amazon's getting all their own trucks. There'll be another... They're, they're going to be another UPS FedEx in the next two years. Yeah, they're bigger than everybody. Everywhere. And they get the shit out quick, though, man. You order something on Amazon, it's at your house in two to three hey, days. customer service, survival yeah. of the fittest. Yeah. That's how life should be. They got a good... All the a cookie good cutter creeps. Oh, it's not fair. Well, guess what? Life isn't fair. So I see, I told my father that once. He says, listen, boy, there's not a damn thing in life that's fair. Of course If you want something, you go out and work for it. Nothing's fair. Period. That's all the little millennials like, it's not fair. No, well, we got white privilege, so. <laughs> it's more like uh, minority privilege now. You can't. It's been like that for 40 years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I'm going to be dead in 40 or 50 years from now or, or less. I don't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, the direction this country is going in is just uh, the world. Not but good. Just, not just this country. You kidding? I guarantee you, all of us, if we live another 30 years, we're going to have a serious accusation of sexual harassment thrown on us. At one time <laughs> I guarantee it. Just for looking a girl in the eye, you're going to get it. You know what pisses me off more than anything? Just once, one time, I want to hear someone like Matt Lauer stand up and say, you know what? I'm a powerful man. I make a shitload of money. Fuck yeah, I did it. Fuck you all. Have a nice day. Just admit it. You know, don't well, Louis, we... Louis C.K. admitted that he did all That's that right. Shit. But yeah, still, like, they admit they did it, but with this, like, bullshit, apologetic lawyer tone. You know, like, it's almost like all these celebrity men have a, a, a pre-written letter in their desks that they whip out in case there's a situation like this that they read, you know, some very skillfully crafted letter. Just stand up, say I fucking did it. I have a million. I have a hundred million dollars in the bank. Kiss my ass. I did it. Yeah, like when Letterman you know? when Letterman got in trouble for cheating on his wife and he came out and said it. Yeah, that's right. He kept his job. He kept going. What the fuck? That's like, you know, Brad just mentioned before, Don Imus. And, you know, we call it the Don Imus effect. Oh you, you keep apologizing. And when Don Imus went on his radio show and, and he called those black female basketball players, he said the nappy-headed hose. <laughs> and Al Sharpton immediately dusted off his bullhorn and made a big deal about it, <laughs> right? And so Don Imus apologized and apologized. And he went on CNN and he went on MSNBC and he went everywhere and kept apologizing. All you had to do is say, I'm sorry, I said it, but you know what? It's my radio show and I can say whatever the fuck I want. If you don't like it, don't listen. But because he kept apologizing, people kept piling on. Right. I remember even Howard Stern said, I'm it. Shut the fuck up. Stop apologizing. It's your radio show. Yeah. Say whatever you want and to who say. Who is that? that? Sharpton and Jesse did the, two extortionists. That's that one guy not even you and me. He's a turd. Who? Sharpton. Oh, forget Why it. anybody takes a sentence of what he does is credible. He should be in jail for income tax yeah. evasion. And for burning down a kosher deli. Inciting a riot that, Correct. that burnt down a kosher deli in New York. No, I think it was a, a, a clothing creeps. store. Wasn't it a, clo yeah, it was a clothing store in Harlem? Right. Where he called, the, uh, he called the shop owner a white interloper yeah. and he incited violence and they burned down his store. Probably because they had no black employees. And making him a story about that girl, Tawana Brawley, that she oh, was raped another one. and smeared with excrement. He made that. I remember up. that. I, I lived in New York City. I remember that. Yeah, they probably yesterday. accused you. <laughs> Hell, you did far worse. Putting a firecracker on this guy's mouth. I want to set the record straight with that. Cause I, you began some heat from that? Well, I didn't light the damn thing, and I didn't put it in the guy's mouth. I was there. The person who did it 
was not me. I probably should have said that when I mentioned that little story. Young, dumb. Guilt by association. Correct. I sound like I'm making excuses, which I'm not trying to, but I'm not some like, Man, a you good. know, sociopath who goes around doing bad shit to people. Yeah, it was a horrible cool. thing. We did it. Yeah. It was really stupid. I was young. I was part of a group of just, you know, degenerate <laughs> friends. What were they called? I, the Guardian Angels? <laughs> I, have friends, I have friends who were in the Guardian Angels in New York. Yeah. I remember that was a thing in the 80s. Curtis I was told we we're going to get some Guardian Angels on your ass. <laughs> Threaten with them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Guardian Angels. Please. I have a few buddies who are Guardian Angels in New York. Rent the cops. Want to be cops. What do they have? Not batons? even. They don't. They don't. They don't carry weapons. They, they can't arrest you. Nothing. They're just like it's like a vigilante street gang. Yeah. They just patrol subways in the streets, and they do, have, they're doing have, a good thing. Yeah, it's fine. I think they take themselves a little too seriously, exactly. though. Don't they wear the red fucking berets yes. on their head? <laughs> that was like big in the eighties. Guardian right. Angels. Like, okay, all right. I'm gonna yeah. take you seriously with that fucking that was, stupid shit on your head. You know the dorks used to join that. They stayed in Pittsburgh too. I really, I thought that was only a New York thing. It, wasn't down, it definitely wasn't down here. They branched out. Right. We had we had rent a cops, whack and hut, and just yeah. we tell them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. You guys have to leave. Go fuck yourself. That's <laughs> when you were at the Cumberland Farms with the skateboarder smoking cigarettes, <laughs> and drinking at the Cumberland Farms, and riding your skateboard off the curb. <laughs> yeah, I know the deal. I heard about it. <laughs> Cumberland Farms. It wasn't Cumberland Farms. That's that's by the trailer park. I didn't hang out in the yeah, trailer Kalor's park. And his buddies used to hang out. Yeah, not me. Here he comes. It's always about an hour and 20 minutes into this that you get the first Kimbo sighting where he finally feels comfortable enough to come out. <laughs> Kimbo, don't you know all these voices by Scaredy now? Scaredy cat. Leonard, take him home. He's so hesitant. Sniffs the equipment. So what are you, you're off today and tomorrow, right? Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? Chest. Part you off tomorrow? No, I, I fucking, I don't have a day off till... I'll probably work Saturday. three weeks straight starting next week. Probably 20 days without a day off. I hate this month. Oh, me Brad too, man. Both, it man. sucks. The month of December, I just wish... I went in at 6 this morning. Yeah, Monday, 6 o'clock, cutter. every other oh, day, 7. Yeah. The cookie cutter. But the man. weather is so fucking nice, yeah. man. I like my job this time of year. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah. You know, being outside all day, is, it's really yeah, nice. Yeah, no humidity, it's nice. Yeah, it's perfect. Next three months, something like that. But it's long, man. The days are long. Oh, by the way, the girl I picked up before Jessica down at the uh, home again, she, I saw her at Orlando back page, transgender. Oh, my her God. Her name's Tracy. That was a cold day when I picked her up. It was like two or three years ago. Oh, here we go. At the home again. And then the uh, maid service came and we... The homo in? Yeah. Oh, is that the one that you asked the maid to come in and slap your ass while you were fucking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my the God. The door, door was open. It was a cold Good memory, day. Brad. Yeah. Getting it on. <laughs> forgot all about that uh, tell the story it's fucking hysterical yeah i saw her back page in delray and she was told me she was the home again i says great because i was there one point and i made a beeline over there she had a cadillac and she pulled up right outside in a cadillac i was right outside the home again so i went up the stairs and i took a potion nine and i walked up the stairs and my heart beat beating so fast besides she was so sexy too she had the heels on six feet tall oh, big black tranny feminine wearing a dress so she had me she gave me a shower and uh, some girls knocked at the door and came in. They were females, and there were two of them, and they were one sitting there and she got naked. And they're like, do you, do you mind if they sit there? I said, no, I like people to watch. And the cleaning maid said, can I clean? I said, sure. And we opened the door, and she's looking at us. <laughs> I was fucking the other one, doggy style. And I told her, why don't you smack my ass and stick that broom up, stick up my ass while I'm fucking her. Oh. This is the meantime I'm banging her. Oh. It was great. I went in dry. Wouldn't recommend it though, maniacs, but oh. <laughs> you can look her up there now. She's Tracy. You, bought the you didn't even use numbers. a little spit? Nah. Oh my God. It's like some of them, they're ass. They excuse their muscles. It does. It feels better than, the, better, than, better than a twat. It really does. Some of them. Oh God. Some, especially if you go in bare and they love it. And then they all asked if they want to do me. I said, try. I don't think it's going to happen. And what were the other two girls doing? Just sitting there watching? Yeah. Did you pay them too? I gave them a couple of dollars, five or ten. <laughs> a couple of... To watch. A couple of bucks for an energy drink. Yeah. It's quite nice to have people watch. You try it sometime, Brad. That's okay, Leonard. I don't need a fucking audience. Why don't you ask your girl if she wants to see an audience? Uh, Do you ever think of that? Oh, my Show God. Show some consideration. She may have an audience. <laughs> I think Brad right. already knows the answer to that. Yeah. Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, Brad. I thought you're some kind of sex freak. Hey, honey, why I have a would you say it? What you? makes you think I'm a sex freak? I thought you're into freak. women that are like that. All these swingers running around. No, I'm... like Laura Anderson, the big audience, and she oh, fucks. Oh, stop! Stop <laughs> naming names, Leonard. Just get it out. <laughs> Stupid funny. fuck. You're gonna get yourself in trouble on this motherfucker. What's trouble, Brad? You can't name names. I like could say that, especially were... people that we fucking know, Leonard. Hey. <laughs> You could you could just say the first name. You don't have to say first and last fucking name. You always do yeah. that shit. Why not? We mean why not? Because Until I get it's my get throat trouble, cut man. off and shoved up my ass. I guess. You know I'll what? Fuck it. Go ahead. Say who? Name That's names. Point fingers. Say whatever you want. Do it. If, if I'm on my bike and a gang comes up and tuck cuts my throat off, I guess I won't be able to say it anymore. But I'll write it on a piece of paper. <laughs> of course you will. You'll be the first one to snitch on everybody, you asshole. I'm not snitching. I'm just bringing forth the truth. Oh, and that with uh, Joe say Aldo scar on his face. Yeah, exactly. Snitch <laughs> scar. Oh, Leonard, I don't know, man. Lenny, do you know any of the UFC fighters at all? You know Cyborg Santos, the Brazilian chick? I've heard of her. She's fighting soon, huh? Yeah, December 30th. We should go to that. She nice looking? She's fighting uh, Hollow. Uh, what the fuck's her name? What's the Holly one? Holly Holm. Holly Holm. Is she nice looking? Not particularly. No. She, looks like a she fights she like a man and looks like a fucking correct. man. She's a Brazilian fucking animal. Just destroys you. So she could just ever fight men. It'd be more interesting. Yeah, true. I agree yeah. with that, actually. She'd beat up a lot of fucking men, to tell you yeah. the truth. All these men that go to LA Fitness here. Oh, you know she'd I want fucking them to start, wipe them. <laughs> I want them to start doing in the UFC. Have like one heavyweight, like put, I don't know, put like Brock Lesnar in there against two women. I'm sure he'd like it. Yeah. Like <laughs> some big ass heavyweight, like a stoop boy, steep boy, Mojocic. Yeah. Against like steep two, two strawweight women. I actually saw a few pornos on that where guys are wrestling girls naked and the girls are going after us nuts and like pulling them and stuff. Looks pretty dangerous. I mean, Sounds pretty dangerous. Poke each other in the ass. What is the it. first thing that you sit down and Google when you get on your phone? Back page, computer? transgender, West Palm Beach. Okay. I'm honest. All right. See if there's any new talent locally. And, and you really haven't. Hasn't do, been, do you right? see the same ones every time, more or less? Mostly Spanish ones, yeah. Nothing you like? Most of them in West Palm. Sometimes you get them. Why are you looking for West? Why don't you look at Fort Lauderdale? It's just as far. Uh, Delray is right in the middle I'd of West Palm and Fort well, There are some. There's some good Spanish. It's and black fucking ones in 20 Lauderdale. minutes either way. There's always good ones in Lauderdale. I'll say that. So why don't you fucking look there's there? Some, there's yeah. some nice Puerto Ricans. I wouldn't mind big ones and thick ones. Dominicans. I wouldn't mind sticking my tongue and different body parts into you know what. I wonder if we did film that, if you could put it up on YouTube. No. Can't, right? No. So there's like no point of even. I mean, we could put it up on heavy porn X or something. We could, we could probably film like their faces, right? We just can't film their. Well, so a lot of them don't want to be filmed. It's, it's, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, and if, when I feel like, see what about if we were just filming you and not, you know, like cut them out? No, I, I was to told by yeah. Jessica, who obviously she got her phone number disconnected. And I can't leave a message. But what if you if you don't put their face in the? I mean, but the they money the is in. If the, price, if the price is right. I bet we can get. They don't. The top ones don't like to do porn because there's no money in it anymore. Yeah, it's all free. It's the escorts are where the money is, and they they want they don't admit it. They they don't want to be on for the most part. Although they do do a thing called a Tumblr video where they'll they'll, they'll show them with with clients. I'd be willing to do that. Tum on Tumblr. Yeah, they have a Tumblr video that they're what's wrong with clients. Oh, that's that other like YouTube thing. Yeah, there's a few there's a few hotties around there that you can't get out of your head. Get out of my fucking head. Liar. <laughs> Fuck you. Post a picture or something so we can get some questions, sir. You know, the fucked up thing is I have that picture saved on my desktop. Thank I'll you. I'll show you. I, I don't... Well, <laughs> Show the viewers, too. Show them the picture. Take the camera in the room. Show them the picture. Of what? I want to do a little video? Sure. Well, I want to see it. I want you to Let's make Let's do it. Poster. When this is over, we'll do it. Okay. Why, where is the picture? It's oh. saved on my computer oh, desktop. Okay. I screenshotted Lucy's ad when she was down here in Fort Lauderdale because Lenny... Wants me to print it out and give it to him so we can to make a poster. Tape it over his bed, and I'm just no, actually I'm gonna put it in the outside patio when I lift. There you go, inspiration. I'm really fucking. I know what's gonna happen though. I'm gonna print it out at work, and the fucking general manager where I work is gonna go to the printer. Oh, who printed this? <laughs> we get repercussions. Nah, they wouldn't know it was me. They wouldn't necessarily know it was a tranny either. <laughs> Actually, that's true. That's a good point. No way in hell. Yeah, that's true, hell. actually. Yeah. Yeah. No way in hell. I would love to have her right now on her knees with her big ass in my face so I could rim it. And I'd be able to talk. Actually, uh, I could sniff it while I talk on the mic. Fuck my fucker with this and then talk. No, you're not sticking anything. No. Oh, you can't. Was here, you, you can stick Jason's she... microphone up her ass. <laughs> Jason doesn't, Jason Jason doesn't have a microphone. Let's make that clear. He's not a... He's... <laughs> 
He had to come explain his bullshit with this crap the last few so days. So when's Carla Dunlap? I'm really up, fucking right? annoyed, though, that Jay Masters got his Instagram taken down. That pisses me off. It's getting ridiculous. I don't know what he has to do like, to fuck, keep it up. Like, fuck these idiots. Why the fuck do you have to jump on his shit right away? He can't post shit. Any any little fucking thing that could be inflammatory or... What are they afraid of? I don't know, man. I told yeah. him I'll start up a YouTube channel for him if he wants. If he wants to keep posting these videos. I told him to go on Snapchat. They don't flag it as much. But these these there's somebody out there. I, I wish I knew who the fuck it was. Well... <laughs> I mean, we can kind of guess. Yeah. We know what circle this per the person's in. It's it's. I'm sure hey, it's one of PJ's nuts nut huggers. Jay has said some you know inflammatory things about a couple of people, and I he's just doing it to make him a better person. I mean, I don't realize that there would be a little baby. Yeah. Why get upset? We will know. I, I take it for his, his motivation. Keep him coming. I don't get enough. Most of the time, he he doesn't even remember what the fuck he. It's exactly. funny. Like, how can you not if laugh you hurt at that? Somebody's feelings. Yeah. Exactly. But like you said, fa Facebook owns Instagram now, and they're fucking Correct. they're turning they're gonna turn fucking PC. You know, if they don't like what you're saying. Well, it depends who's saying it, and it depends who you're talking about. Right. Depending on who you're talking about, your shit will either get taken down or it won't. Depending on what group of people get offended. Yeah, that's, the WWE's that's what that's offended. That's all well, based on. Guess what? They won't touch me or Hulk Hogan. I'm in good company. Yeah, I mean, like... Matter of fact, me and Hulk Hogan should come back as a tag team. They won't touch Hulk Hogan because of when he said the N-word on yeah, the radio? Yeah, out of context. You've got to be joking. That's what his manager said, yep. <laughs> Banned from WWE, all my, everything. It's real smart. Now you got a bunch of nobody. No, not, and nobody it's knows. terrible. It's a fucking well, terrible that's product. That's what they get. It's boring as fuck. You know, I bet you if, if all these people who ban Hulk Hogan from the WWE, if some of their secret, some of their private conversations could be recorded the way Rich Pianas would. Oh, was. fucking I wonder how many N-bombs you would hear said. You forget probably, it. You I'm don't have enough fingers and toes Vince to Vince is the top one and Triple H is not far behind. Yeah. I will say Dale Chance, if you hear his date, Mr. Uh, friendly with everybody, I'm sure Dale Chance a lot of N-bombs going around on his dinner tables, <laughs> especially as a kid up in North Carolina. Lots of N-bombs, so Blackstone, you could deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> Real nice, throw him under the bus. Yeah. I don't think I ever heard Dale say that word. No. He's one of those, they, they do say it only in certain circles. There's their condition. My, my fucking father's like that, man. My little niece, I guess my dad put up Christmas lights mm -hmm. and they got stolen. So, and my little niece said, yeah, because they call, they call my, his nickname is Moon, whatever. They call him Moon. Moon said it was, it was a couple N words that did it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> fuck is the matter with you man so you're moon jr huh yeah he's a trump voter just like you assholes I'm kidding no i'm not fucking well, kidding like that? I knew I of course at least there's some brains both in your of my family both of my fucking parents just common sense anybody with <laughs> yeah. common sense is a trump man mm -hmm. he takes no money from special interests and lobbyists none doesn't need him <laughs> And don't worry, once he gets reelected, all hell's going to break loose. He's going to do everything he said and then some. Think so? As much as he can. Yeah, he just wants to get reelected. Yeah, to presidents always do in their second term. He can play around with that fat fucking North Korea all day because that guy can't do shit. I see people like relatives of mine are afraid that we're going to get nuked by North Korea. Oh, guess what? Yes. Guess what? Who gives a fuck? Because if we get nuked, we won't know the difference. Well, we'll not be fucking, a, we'll be oh, fucking dead. Hell, so they're whatever. saying that the German V2 rockets are higher. Would you rather get better technology would you rather, back in the forties than this jerk off has today? Would you rather get killed in a nuclear explosion or live for the aftermath? I'd rather oh, get I'd rather killed rather by Lucy, Lucy sitting on I my face. I don't even want to know what happens. I just want to be evaporated, and that's yeah, it. exactly. I don't want to. I, I, I want Lucy to sit on my face and suck all the breath out of me <laughs> while I die underneath that ass. That's a good way I want to go. <laughs> oh man. Well, actually, what's, what's what a good idea would be if she could sit on my face and jerk me off so you get the feeling of getting hanged or whatever and then jerking your load. It's a good feel. It's like brings that's up the That's what best. David Carradine, right? Yeah, I heard oh, that's the ultimate, ultimate, the ultimate ejaculation. It's while you're strangling yourself? Yes. You're getting strangled? Didn't a, chick want, didn't a chick have you strangle her one time? Yes. When you were pumping her? Did Twice. Almost, didn't you almost kill her? Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd this take place at? My bedroom. <laughs> I knew it. You knew one, it? One was Korean. Right in the front lawn, you fucking asshole. Oh. The Korean chick 
wanted me to shove my forearm on her throat during sex. And what? Doing it in her voice box? Yeah, right on her throat. And as I'm pushing down, she's saying harder, harder. And I'm literally putting all my weight on my forearm and her face is turning red and I can see she can't breathe. I'm like, okay, time out. But, you know, I didn't want to become the next Robert Chambers. <laughs> you know, anyway, if no one knows who Robert Chambers is, go ahead and Google him and you can read about him. Um, and then there was another girl, this is years ago, and there was another girl who wanted me to strangle her with a belt during fornication, and I declined. <laughs> I almost wish I had, though. <laughs> yeah, but the, this, the Asian chick was crazy. I probably could have done whatever the fuck I You know, someone who's just completely submissive and just wants you to inflict pain and punishment. Yeah, they're I'm, out I'm there. Like, but once I see somebody's face turning red and they can't breathe. That's, well, that's an easy out. You, had, trying to you had sex, it got rough. That's what happened to Robert Chambers. You remember that? In the in the 1980s? It's the Central Park killer. No. Where he met this girl, Jennifer Levin, in a bar on the Upper East Side of New York City called, um, I think it was called Dorian's. I think it's still there. <laughs> and they met, they drank, he took her to Central Park and they had sex right in the middle of Central Park in New York City. And he strangled her to death. He claimed it was because of rough sex, but the trial showed, you know, after all the forensics and everything that he strangled her and he got convicted. And he did like 10 or, 10 or 15 years in jail, got out of jail, immediately got into trouble again, went back to jail. He's a fucking, he's a sociopath, sick fuck. So I, Good luck explaining that shit to a jury. Nah, I was I was not trying to catch a case that. I can't, one. Psychologically, I'm trying to figure that one out. She was. Uh, I think she moved to California. The Korean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. South Florida has some crazy women. That's. Yeah, I sure. never had one. Now that I just some hookers like me to squeeze their nipples, almost ripped them off. But now they're choking or anything like that. Oh yeah. They like me to twist and pull on their nipples till pretty bad. <laughs> Big black chick named Vanessa. She didn't have a dick. No. She okay. had a big twat. <laughs> a big twat. <laughs> Better than a big dick. <laughs> no, it's not. What do you mean a big twat? Yes, it is. You can only use one hole at a time. <sighs> not true. Put it this way. Eating a tranny's ass is good, if not better, than eating a pussy. Probably cleaner. Number two, you know, they can fuck you if you're inclined to do that. You could give them a head. Well, there's an interesting question. What's cleaner, an asshole? Depends. It's pussy? relative. If it's relative on the cleanliness, and those trannies are very good at giving themselves enemas. They're very meticulous. I never had a tranny with that when I read them taste of like shit. About once never. Again, with this and there have been quite a few fuck. girls that, unfortunately. And guess who's getting sucked into this? Conversation? Tranny, trannies, big fucking surprise. You he know, said he said a tranny's asshole tastes better than a fucking vagina. Do you believe that? Them, shit? Yeah, cleaner. They're meticulous. <laughs> Parasites, E. coli. They're pin so good with the eminos, there's no traces of it. You have to go far. No, pinworm, you, pinworm eggs can be right there in the asshole. If it's dirty. If, if you're, it's you're disinfecting that area. If it's infested, but if you're messing around with trannies from countries like Haiti or the Bahamas or, or you know, under, <laughs> underdeveloped countries. There are any, from what I know. They're all local homegrown. You probably have a better chance of catching an STD from a white woman at a, any local bar than you Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Anyone on back page. That down here anyway in South Florida. The bag, those girls are meticulous. I mean, what girl they were escorted would make you go to take a shower? No. It's, both of them scrub you down. And when they have no bad breath or body odor. None of them. Rubber ducky. Yeah. You're the one. You Cr big goof. <laughs> you're another <laughs> leech. He's all. He was all about it. Messaging me. Oh, I want to get him. To, you, th he wants to get men's pants. Yeah. You yeah. big fat well, freak. Iron Mag. Like, you know, he wants us to. You, well, we'll buy time on your sponsor and everything. He didn't even say thank How you about for this? leaving him a free Maybe fucking I'll spot. Send Just him a like message. Dick. Oh, he Christian me. Dick. He, he, did, he did thank he you. He thanked okay. me before we did it. Well, here's how oh, we're going to well, thank you. After. He, Maniacs. Fuck, fuck him too. Get on his Instagram. Call him Christian Dick. That's what I think about you. Oh boy. He happened to be a very nice guy. I don't He's know. a fucking <laughs> creep. I had a long phone conversation with yeah? him. Yeah, He's probably jerking off while you're well, doing you know, it. Well, that's his business if he was great. He's probably fisting himself. <laughs> yeah, but he was, uh, you know. He was a very nice guy. Yeah, he, he seemed nice. And then he was, he, until was, he blew us off. Nah, it gives a shit. If people aren't interested in working with us, they don't have well, to. Well, then just say so. Don't just fucking go. Just don't even say thank you for the fucking free I, shot. I, I couldn't guy. give a flying fuck either way. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Who cares? 
Whatever. We need exactly. so much junk food, Christian. Who are you? <laughs> so you just ate fucking three tri- yeah, two yeah. triple cheeseburgers, He's got three fries, times the amount of shake. fat hanging off his carcass. Yeah, for somebody that's around a lot of lifters, he doesn't look like he's ever touched a motherfucker. Yeah, he lifts the fucking junk food and the chip and dip. And then he sticks his fist up his house <laughs> for dessert. And so far, I got two quite One of them was, so what's up with Jason using Emma to grab money? We already answered that at the yes, beginning of the podcast. Address. You guys can make whatever, draw whatever conclusion you want. You know. I, I believed 100% that he fucking did. You do or you did? I did. But now, I, you know, like you said, without any, like, evidence and, and going this many... Di- when did it happen? Thursday or Over something? the weekend. And by now, we would have seen some proof of a payment to him. A screenshot, yeah. a video. Something has to surface in order for me to... And look, I, I know perception is reality. And with Jason, the perception is he's a, a liar and a this and a that. But until there's evidence... That's it. Trolls gonna troll. Any other questions? What's going on with the iTunes thing? Can we unfigure that shit out yet? Oh, uh, we downloaded it to the computer at work, and then it was asking for a credit card and all this other shit, and I just... Why? What do they want? A credit card. How much, though? I don't know. I have no idea. I think it's just to create the account. Like, if you want to download stuff and pay for it, just to secure it. You gotta get it on there. SoundCloud stinks iTunes is way much easier to navigate. See if you can you if you can remember your password somehow. Then we can just boom, do it right to yours. Or see if they'll email it to you or something. I'll see let me see what it is real quick. Ask Lenny what he exactly means by food as a drug. Oh, I have something for you. You can answer that, Lenny, then I want to read you something. Someone has a legitimate thing. What do you mean by food as a well, drug? You can break it down and do a little experiment. Eat just eat one thing. Like say for instance, eat a steak by itself. Gauge how you feel within an hour, two hours, three hours. This is if you have time to do it. Then eat something with pure carbs in it. Gauge how you feel. Carbs can increase the serotonin and dopamine levels in your brain as they increase the muscle glycogen. Protein can do it as well, but they also are good for the uh, brain chemicals. So actually, an all around reason, especially if you want to get high, you want to eat a combination of both with healthy fats. Matter of fact, I know a lot of people that if you're doing performance enhancing drugs, and you're also a heroin addict, you will get a better high from it. So it works in conjunction with it. It's the raw materials you need to get high. If you're starving, you're not going to get high. You have to have a full complement of brain chemicals fully replenished. And you, like any other system of the body, that requires water, nutrients, and micronutrients and macronutrients. How do you feel after eating all that fucking McDonald's? Not good. Mm-hmm. Not good at all. Bloated, sluggish. Lenny, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. This is from Alex Simu. He sent me this a few days ago through Facebook, and he asked me to ask you this. So, Alex, I hope you're listening. Um, I would love to hear Lenny's advice. Uh, hold on a sec. About depression. Uh, about depression on steroids, life in general, shit job, etc. Uh, being lonely. If you catch my drift, uh, ask Lenny how Lenny deals with depression or sadness and loneliness, so he can help. Cause I suffer. And please, Big Lenny, help me. I'm serious. I need your view and how you deal with them. Very simple. Depression is a side effect of uselessness. It's a side effect of laziness. It's a side effect of being a cookie cutter. When you don't have your own identity and you're looking to be like everybody else, that's a no-win situation in life. You need to get out and be productive. Set the goals, implement them one day at a time, and think to yourself, do I really need this? Do I really need that for my long-term goal, no matter what that may be? And if it's not, you have to make the changes. And again, time is money. You should use up every second of your time going towards your goals. And any job, that, no matter what it is, and that's what I like about the Japanese culture, which Andrew admires as well, taking off the shoes is smart before you go into a house, <laughs> is every place, every job, so called society, has a purpose. And everyone's respected for that by the street. It cleans the streets and it moves the garbage and delivers the mail. Is meaning, the meaning, meaning, no matter what job you have, be the best that you can be at yes, that job. Find ways Even if to it's be washing better. fucking dishes. You don't, yes, don't go to the, do, every, no, most people go to a job, I'm going to do as little as I can, stay on the clock as long as I can. I'm not going to work too hard. No. You make yourself more efficient. I ignore what they tell you to do. I go above and beyond. And you can always back it up anytime you're evaluated. And remember, money is not necessarily... The key to life, intelligent, creative thinking is. And that's why reason if you look in Florida, 
most of the people running businesses from South, uh, mostly from other countries like Cuba. Matter of fact, most of the lo local strippers coming over from Cuba recently, they're 22, 23 years old, making a half a million dollars a year stripping because they can't do that back in their country. They're not just stripping either. Well, no, they're not. But most of them are on drugs and they're investing their money. So that when you're worthless and you're not doing what you're supposed to do, that causes depression because literally life's too short to get depressed. And you, what you need to do is, and I do it myself, whether you pray, meditate, whatever, you can call it what you want, but it's, to me, it's nothing more than thinking, you know. The gym is a great place. Right. To I actually want, when I wake up in the morning, I want to see what life can throw at me and how I can defeat it. I hope there's tragedy in my life. You know why? That's what makes life worth living. If I go out and get hit by a car, you know what? I'm going to come back even better. If some girl cheats on you, you know what? You use that to your advantage, you know? And if you want to do something like, you know, get out of your system, go ahead. Well, if it, But don't if, go if, run into why, the kid, for a security what that net. Kid said, that kid said his girl cheated on him or something? Well, I'm just saying in general, you should be glad that happens to you. You don't want to be forgotten. You know, you're not going to be glad about you it. You should be glad But you, but you can't let it make you... You should be you in, happy. You can't let it put the you into... The more challenges you get in life, the better it is. Defeating challenges. You just can't let it get you down. Life. You, you shouldn't get down. It, no. that, that is cookie cutter uh, nomenclature. You should look to have more more difficult things people throw at you, the better. You work your way around it and you get smarter and better and tougher. Like what Nietzsche said, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And of course your shirt said, that which doesn't kill you makes you more lethal. Like I like shirt. that saying. I'm going to have to get him to make you a... Although Nietzsche was a big self-proclaimed atheist. That. You hear that, there's Adam? There's a lot of intelligence 4XL, what doesn't kill you makes you lethal yes for depression we must face it we've all felt sorry for ourselves but you know what when you really think about it the minute i think does anybody care yeah no. exactly well not only that the minute i start thinking oh my life's so f fucked up this way i think about b people that are paraplegics yeah. or missing limbs and shit dude. And some of Count, them you know it. like we have you no excuse i'm jealous if of you're an able-bodied adult you have no excuse i'm jealous what, of what if you, you know why depressed about i wish i was paraplegic you know why oh my god Because i'd love to be strutting around on walking on my hands look at that freak <laughs> you couldn't do it you know <laughs> well you don't have any legs That's so why I like trannies they say to themselves you know, I was That's why by, but I'm going to make myself so damn hot. I'll be irresistible to the straightest, most alpha males that ever lived, such as Big Lenny. That's a thrill in life. And a lot of people don't like it, and they don't have the balls to say they like it. Guess what? I think it's great. You know, that's just me. Everybody wants that nice, cushy... They want to dream of getting the worst. Is I'll never buy a lottery ticket in my life, because that's the last thing I ever want to do. Get that easy money, or, or what they think is easy. Then, then you get depressed. That, you know, obviously, drug depression, when you come off the drugs, that's the reason for suicide. That's the reason for a lot of depression, too. But that's just a brain chemical thing. You got to get your nutrition right and get your body back on balance. Maybe take some phenobut, which has some side effects in itself or depression, but it's not that severe. If you're eating correctly, remember this, maniacs, you eat six meals a day, not only get more muscle, but they get more high, naturally or drug-induced or, or nutrient-induced. So get your ass to the gym. Eat. You want to get high? Food. Fine. You want to get drunk? Be like Brad. Get drunk on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure your eating's good, so you'll be able to. Brad, the role model. Your, your dopamine and serotonin and all those brain chemicals no, will be pumping okay. out. Everything's okay in moderation. It just depends on the person. What are they? But I, moderation I, shouldn't exist. When I go out training, I, I, ideally, I want to be torn up from head to toe. But that's yet to happen. The ideal training excursion, you know. I like to come out of that apartment. Reek with urine and semen. Oh, <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> All right, uh, I think that I've yet to go. I've nice. yet to go to the blood, but that just goes to show you maybe not, I'm, I'm not as extreme as I thought. I've heard this question before. What are the ideal measurements for an ejaculatorium? <laughs> <laughs> ten by ten. Well, how long? I mean, shit. You could do it in a closet. Is this from Dale Chance? Is this an undercover question from Dale Chance in North Carolina? I'm going to uh, trace this Question call. two. With all, these actor, <laughs> with all these actors being accused of sexual assault, how did Benny Hill escape accusation? Because. He said, go fuck yourself. By dying. That's how. <laughs> yeah. 
They said Benny Hill had If Benny Hill was head. still alive, I oh, forget it. His head was like humongous, I heard. They'd be lined up around the corner. I mean, tell him to go fuck off with this sexual Benny harassment. Benny Hill's whole show was based on racism and misogyny. And you know what? It was fucking hysterical. Yeah, and you can't do that anymore. No it way. Sucks. It sucks. That show you gotta go was back and great. watch the old shit. Yeah, it's oh. hard. I could almost never watch it because it was on at midnight. It was on the UHF station. And Mom was with the bed at 8 o'clock. How many times I'd sneak down and try to watch him? I did. I saw some hot girls in pantyhose, some hot blondes. So you get erections. Just watch old TV shows like The Jeffersons and Archie yeah. Bunker and even Good Times. Well, when... the Jeffersons spun off of Archie That's Bunker. That's right. Archie Bunker was fucking great. The old Archie Bunker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Imagine a TV show like that now. Forget. Wouldn't even get past the pilot. Well, stage. even in Living Color, man. Remember fucking Handy Boy? Yep. He'd just run up to the fucking window and fall out. <laughs> 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 up up in the wind. Uh, that show was funny. <laughs> that was fucking great. Jim Carrey, the oh. token white guy on the show. Jimmy Fox played. What the hell was her name? Um, uh, with the girl, with the cross eyes yes. and the buck teeth. Yeah, the cross eyed girl with the big lips. I can't. That shit. Funny. That show was fucking great. I could not wait to watch that. It was awesome. But you can't. Again, you, they won't even show. No. I mean, I don't even know if they show reruns of that it's all, shit. It's all on YouTube. That's where you have yeah. to yeah, that's what watch people, it. People don't watch today. Yeah. Now they just watch reality, stupid ass. Where's, where's all the racial Fucking tension back then? People cuts. are laughing together. That's right. At the boiler rooms and the coffee, all the blacks. Did you see what Archie said last night? It's hilarious. Yeah. He died. He went to heaven. Suppose he had a dream and God was black. He freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Not anymore. No. Remember they were at a bus station and he looked around. He's, Edith. There's two men kissing behind us. What the hell? <laughs> Her voice was just really fucking annoying, man. This guy suggested a weekly misfit concept to have the opportunity to call in or Snapchat for a 10 minute conversation on the podcast. Good idea. We just need some more funding for the trial. All we'd have to do is just do like an Instagram live to do that, right? We may meet some characters out there. I think it's a great idea. You want to do an Instagram live? Yeah. Fuck it. Of I wonder if Jason uploaded that video yet. I'm so stupid. He's such a fucking mess. He couldn't wait to get out of here. That up. You can just see him antsy. Yeah, but what good is it going to fucking... Nobody believes Nothing. him anyway. If, That's what he does. Those who believe understand. him are going to believe him. Those who don't will never will. So what difference does it make? I just... What, are you trying to flex? Yeah, I'm losing my sharpness. This is what's left of, what, uh, of Leonard's McDonald's. For those who are listening to the podcast, we're doing an Instagram live right now. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, McDonald's, those noises are coming out of my stomach. What's that all about? You're going to be married to the what's, fucking toilet. What's cookie cutter crap? Is Hopefully what it not is. my toilet. I don't even know what is in that shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. The milkshake was good, though, I got to say. <laughs> Do you even lift Lenny? Yes. Jason left. He... He lasted 45 fucking minutes, though, which was shocking. When you're 330 J- pounds hard, what J- do you think I do? Jason checked out once Brad started breaking his balls. That was when... Yeah, he, and all he has to say to me is, Mail boy, wouldn't you yeah, shut up, mail boy, mail prick. Pacing back and forth like a cage. It doesn't even count. When I break his balls... Poster I mean, boy. Post boy. Poster. Because he doesn't know how to say postage. Yeah. Fucking dope. Lenny, front double bicep. Stat. I can't. I did heavy front squats. Gomez. What the fuck is that picture? Is that you getting your hair cut? You queer? This kid I work with, he fucking gets his hair cut once a week. He's one of those. Once? Did he do it himself? I challenge you to a fight, Brad. Okay, come to Delray. Sign the papers. <laughs> Sign the papers. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't want to fight anybody. I'll smoke a blunt with you. How's that? I'll, da- I'll do that with e- you right now. Either, yeah, either... <laughs> Both of us will get arrested, or both of us will get knocked out. It's fucking fighting is. And then whoever gets beat up is gonna sue the other person. Get this out of the. Oh, you can see it like that. HG head. What to say? HG head. What would be a good beginner cycle, in Leonard's opinion? Diana ball. Try 15 milligrams a day. Take three five milligrams three t- three times a day. Speak up. Three, five milligram Diana balls three times a day for a good eight weeks. Then get back to me, hopefully 20 or 30 pounds heavier. Have you ever done the carnivorous diet? Why eat three eating... pounds of red meat a day? So I would say so. Not all meat though. I mean, obviously there's other stuff involved, but I heard there's a guy that does that eats all raw meat. He's doing healthy. He we, never... 
Never farts. I'm trying to look at the questions here on the live Instagram. We already talked about Jay's uh, Instagram account. Listen to the podcast. But yeah, he, I think he lasted a day. It was official bedroom bully 69. I think he did a live video where he called Muslims ragheads and adios. That was it. That was it. Bye bye. That's like almost like a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> My pec is better. I've been able to do chest, but not heavy. Did Jason steal from Emma? Who knows? Have you uh, talked to Saul? No. The shirts are online. They're just, they should be finished. Saul's being about made. 83 years old right now. Probably 80. Wow. Tomorrow I'm getting the shirts. Lenny, if I come to visit, can I punch you in the gut? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Jason got into another accident while live streaming? Do you, believe, do you believe in Santa Claus, Leonard? Yes. He's obviously alive and well and deceiving the cookie cutters of this world. So you guys, you got to. Good. D-ball is a cookie cutter cycle, they said. Yeah. What are you weighing there? Buck 10? <laughs> you know, most of these people are nameless, faceless fucking pussies. That, Lightweights. Yeah. They, if I paid for the trip, would Lenny make the trip to Lakeland to visit a true Misfit fan? How far is Lakeland from here? Is that near Orlando? It's like a yeah, four or five hour drive. Enough to go. Hello from Somalia. That's fucking that that chink in California, Scott <laughs> Scott Jung, who always calls who always says, calls me Brett. Fucking ass. Where the right? women take a shit on the street. <laughs> Jay doesn't want to put his IG on private. When's Lucy coming? She was here. She'll be back. You can buy the shirts on JasonGenovaClothing.com. No, the money doesn't go to Jason. Just so you know, and the shirts will be ready tomorrow. Victor's in South or North Carolina. North. How much you spend a day with Big Lenny? Uh, 400. <laughs> Here, I'm going to hand it off to Andrew. Right, ask the question. $400 for a day with you? Yeah. I bet some people would plus, fucking pay plus that. Plus meals. And that's from what? Morning till night? Yeah, go out and train. They get to watch you cook? Yeah. Will you let them in your house? Sure, they can sleep over. Oh, my God. I'll sleep in a recliner. You can have the bed. I'll put some fresh sheets on. I'll mop the floor. Make a UK misfit shirt for your UK fan. Sounds good. How? Yeah. We'll you, put the. You uh, gotta get more specific. We're U sending. We'll UK send it to flag. the UK. Yeah, we ship international. Dress me up like the King of England did, like back in 1600s, like King Henry VIII on the throne. You mean in Buckingham Palace? You want to dress up like the Queen? You mean? You I will. <laughs> I know you will. Some girl will dress me up. <laughs> and Jew. Andrew. Andrew, what's the education background of you fuckboys? <laughs> High school diploma. <laughs> well, that's a cookie cutter education if I talk about that. I've read every philosophy book, holy bible, and lived the real world. That's how you get education. Life experience. That's right. Life experience. You can wipe your ass with these diplomas. I, yeah, it's fucking... Even Ivy League graduates. Co college is a racket. I've spoken to I work with people sports. that have four-year fucking degrees and yes. we're doing the same fucking it's job. It's just a money it's, system. It's a cookie-cutter system. Yeah, it's a system. fucking scam. College is a fucking scam. It's just it put to party Did for four Chance years. Did Jail graduate really? high school? No. He's making six figures. Did my brother graduate high school? No. He's making six figures. Okay. My freshman year of college, all I did was party, and I failed out. But you and learned. It was the most fun year of my life. No, I didn't learn shit. <laughs> <laughs> I slept through every exam, and I you learn how to live. I partied my ass off. Then wow. after that, I took it seriously, and I, I got my BA. <laughs> Andrew, what kind of guns do you own? I own a uh, I own a Charter Arms forty four Special five shooter right next to my bed. Let's play Russian roulette. <laughs> Can we should play tranny roulette? <laughs> <laughs> the person that loses has to have a tranny bust a load in their mouth. In their mouth. And to the person who asked if I saw the fight, <laughs> yeah, well, I'll hand it. I'll, I'll do for you. You win. Did you watch the fight Depends from this past Saturday like. night? Did you see that black dude with the flat top get kneed in the face? No, I not, did not. Oh. I missed that one. Yeah. One I haven't recorded. Those, I gotta go back and watch. I saw the those, Cub Swanson fight though. That, was, that kid Ortega is good. Brutal knockout. I don't remember his name. His nick. His nickname is Funk Master. Funk Master Flex or some oh, shit like that. Oh boy. Oh, he got just brutally good to hear it. Knee right to the jaw. Yeah, anybody with that nickname, good. Dale Chance will use that name next year. Funk Master. No, Flex his name is Chance. Dale Chancey. Yeah. <laughs> the guy didn't even say his fucking yeah, name. He right. thought it was Mel Chauncey. Hey, Dan, Chauncey by the way, Chancey. how many expediters hold up a camera phone as the guy's coming out like they did me? Did you see that? <laughs> I'm coming out. The fucking expediter has a fucking camera on me. They were great with us, though, man. They let me film whatever the fuck yeah, I wanted to. Yeah. I don't know if they'll let us do that to Diana Cadu. Fuck her. No, thanks. 
I did, she did a lot of porn. It's on there. I've seen it. Oh, no shit. She did a lot of porn. Check it out. I don't even know what the hell the broad looks like. Big Haitian, big ass. She's actually over 50 now, but she still looks great. And she was a competitor? She was hitting on Andrew Kalora at the 2004 Southern States backstage. They're Came asking about him. Jason's dad, his real father. I don't I don't know. I heard Who, Harvey? About Jason's real father <laughs> being alive. I think his real father, I think his biological father is still alive, as far as I know. Oh. If he saw the way he turned out and the way Jane is, he fucking had for the, <laughs> faked his death and head I'm for the sure fucking Jason's hills. His biological father is still alive. As far I was once to... Oh, no shit. Yeah, I think ah. so. Look them up, maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to search every Genova on the fucking planet now. The guy probably changed his name. Did he take the name of the... Someone said his father's real name is Gary. We got to get Kalora on the... Uh, Andrew Kalora on here. Oh, on yeah. The phone. I, I, still I see the request for him. They want to see him big time. Call him now. Is he up? I should text him. Call him now. Yeah, shoot him a He's text. Up. See if he wants to talk for a few minutes. Uh, see, how about them Cincinnati that's how, we'll, that's how we'll wrap this one up. Yeah... Are you at the Sheik's number two? We can call him, maybe. Get, yeah, get that from... Yeah, get it from Mike T. For tits. <laughs> <laughs> Mike That's fucking great. Mike tits. <laughs> I get it. You're coming here for your steroids, and he's a supplier. All right, I just texted Andrew Kalora. Let's see if he responds. If he's down, I'll call him. We'll get Richard back on. Richard's yeah. very, Richard's very busy eating eating fucking sixty year old pussy. So give, uh, him, give him a break. It's more like 70. oh fucking. Imagine, <laughs> imagine the fucking what her snatch looks like, oh, like a fucking turkey neck. <laughs> Flappy fuck, uh -huh. flappy lips. Why would you want to eat a sixty-year-old box? Jesus, you might as well just get a hooker once a month. Probably a lot less expensive too. Go fucking go lick a raw steak. Oh. There's Kimbo. Look at him. Very soft. Kimbo. Hey. Everybody wants to see the fat pussy. Come on over. Investigate. What's gotta hurt? Brolic broccoli forty-five. He's the one. Talk to Andrew about running the weekly contest where a lucky misfit can call in and be on the podcast for 10 minutes. Good idea. It's not a bad idea. Well, you guys have Lenny's number. Go ahead and call him. <laughs> yeah. I'm not giving yeah, out my fucking number. I'm not giving out number. my fucking number. Call him three or four times a day when there's an anonymous types. Jane was telling me she gets prank calls in the middle of the night from people pretending to be Jason. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mom, Mom, it's me, Jason. <laughs> How the fuck do they have her number? They probably uh, probably uh, say, oh, Jason's mind. just been killed in an accident. They probably call her and say. When are we going to Australia? Fucking who knows? I'd love to go there. What part? Yeah. What part's the best there, though? Brisbane. Brisbane? Why is that? Best trainings. Oh, for you, fuck's you sake. You know, did you have to ask, Brad? Yeah. <laughs> you, you knew what the answer was going to be. How do you know that? You looked leave? on Backpage, Australia, Brisbane. What other, <laughs> what other countries have you looked up? Uh, United Kingdom, Paris, Just France. Just for shits and giggles? Montreal. Montreal's got some good ones. Ontario. I looked up South Africa. There's some nice black ones on there. Johannesburg. Uh -huh. Look up, we're gonna but you won't see any from Sudan or any of those type of things now. I'm probably going to Spain again next year if you want to oh, go. Tons of them. Look, look it up. Get yeah, your, I mean, get your, get your passport. We got a place to stay too, man. I'd like to, yeah. Go see uh, this. What's that bodybuilder's name? Uh, it's pretty big. Alfonso Del Rio. What do you think of Larry Wheels? Who the fuck is Larry Wheels? Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> Is Wheels a real last name, or is that a nickname because he's got... I don't know. Legs? Do you know anybody named that? Never heard of her. <laughs> All the Larrys I know got stick legs. <laughs> Hi from New York. From New York, what's up? Call from, call on Snapchat so you won't have to give out your number. You guys, you can call me on Snapchat. I've never had anybody call me on Snapchat. Oh, can I well, that's about to voice. change, Brad. What, are you going to take a shit? What do you mean you don't know? Not, How do you not know if you have to take a shit or not? You're just going to sit on the toilet and see what happens? Not for long. I'll know within a few seconds. Maybe Kimbo will join you and lick your butthole clean. Yeah, All right, go. It's that way. Try not to break that toilet. It's kind of small. Well, the seat's already ripped, so... Hi from, hi from Fiji. Lips. I've had a few fat people here before. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Dale Chance, probably the fattest one. <laughs> Come on, Dale. I've had some Can't even... <laughs> Got to go to people's house and rip their toilet seat from your fat <laughs> rear end. This might be the end of the podcast.
Yeah, you're, 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 gonna, you, yeah, you're gonna end up stinking this whole joint out. Kalura's not texting me back, so call him. Do a surprise. All right, plan. hurry up and go to the bathroom. How long does it take? Ah. You? Oh man, I was, ah. how are you gonna get off the toilet seat that? if you can't even get off that I chair? Did free weight squats. Then I did Smith squats. Did, I had to turn around. Are you are you cra- are you cramping? No, it's sore. Did you hear his knees crack when he stood up? Uh. Uh-uh. Look at the cat. <laughs> no, right He's right next to the TV. TV. Look. He's what? he's frozen in fear. My cat was allowed up. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> My cat was never allowed up on the furniture. He says. <laughs> uh, oh, they want you. Want to bring the phone in the bathroom? You want to show him your shit? Tell him no, I'll do this. I know he wants. <laughs> and you know what sucks is the window in that bathroom is screwed shut. It's broken, so I can't even open it out. Oh, I wouldn't have Lenny with the cat. Call Scott Steiner. Incline's better than flat. I don't know about Saul. What the fuck do Saul's they Why fine. are they obsessed Saul's with fine. Saul? I don't so understand. You can look up Saul on Facebook. Well, I'm not going to say what it is, but if you look up Saul on Facebook, he, he's always posting pictures of his family. And, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? <laughs> Lenny, you're an asshole. He just fucking... He, oh, just, he just destroyed that toilet. Lenny is making gravy in my fucking bathroom. You, a, we, we can hear the shit spraying out of his ass. That, that sounds like a fucking 100-pound water balloon hitting the fucking oh, floor. fucking A. Uh, let's set up this Lakeland visit. I don't even know what's in fucking Lakeland. Why don't you just come to Delray? Probably lakes. Should we get Jane on the podcast? I don't no, know, man. No, no, I don't think no, that's a fucking good no idea. Jane on the- we already addressed Jason earlier, so listen to the podcast tomorrow night when Andrew uploads it. I- I'm seriously concerned about that sound I heard. <laughs> it was real bad, dude. <laughs> That was one of like Lenny's that, vintage explosive God, shits. Damn it. You should have just went, had him go out on the side of the yeah, house and lean up time. against it. Oh, look who's calling me. Jane, speak of the devil. Put her on speaker. I can't do that to her. Why not? Just tell her she's on speaker. Who gives a fuck? Hold on a sec. Hello? Good, Jane. How are you? We're actually doing the podcast right now. That's okay. No, that's okay. Everything's great. We're having a blast. Everything good? The hats cost too much to ship internationally. I didn't put it on for that. You Jay- don't want to pay that much. Jason was here for about 45 minutes, then he split. He started getting antsy, and he split. He always gets antsy. He can't sit still. We're waiting for another camera to set up the tripod on. Andrew's fucking he was, camera's he was broken. He just, you know, after 40 or 45 minutes, he gets, you know, the way he gets. He can't have an adult conversation for more than five fucking minutes. Is Brad supporting what? I, uh, we all support him. We don't. We don't see any. We don't see any proof that he really did it. So there, there's no hard evidence that he did anything wrong. And until there is, I have to take Jason's side. I don't have to. I love how I tell her we're doing the podcast. So put her on hint, speaker. Hint. Put her on speaker. She's on the podcast. Do, tell her she's. Do on I the know podcast. Alex from the gym? No, I do Alex not. Andrew. Alex, who's that? Do you know who that is? Yeah, she was in that video with Don King and BJ's or whatever. Oh, Alex with the accent. Her father's it was yeah, like of course 100 years Alex. old working out. She's like Venezuela. She's Venezuelan. I'd like to go to the Arnold Classic. Do you want to go to the Arnold Classic? I like that. We need people to pay for it, though. Motherfucker. I heard that's a good event. It's bigger than the Olympic fighting, cheerleading. Here, go ahead and answer some questions. I'm going to give this to Leonard. Jane's interrupting the pot. Put her on speaker. Here. What happened to Alex? Oh, the call dropped. Perfect. There is a god. I'm no longer an atheist. Get Todd on the podcast? Yeah, that sounds like a decent idea. Lenny, what was that sound we heard when you were in there? That was an oh, horrible was ass unloading. Yeah, no, is there nothing, anything splattered in a toilet? No, nothing really came out. I washed my hands, of course. Uh, yeah, we love to go to the Arnold. Lenny just did an Arnold, an Arnold classic in the bathroom. We heard that fucking <laughs> that that sounded explosive. That's it did. The, the nothing came I, out. What do you mean nothing so came just, out? That was just a fucking fart. Yeah. So this is to show you McDonald's. It's my lucky night. I thought I was going to have to get a McDonald's. Is gar- I ate Pollo Tropical. And I, I never heard of her. Fucking black beans. Don't ever she, say I that had, name in front of me again. It. What name? Who? There she calls Le- again. LeBron so-and-so. Put her on speaker. This cunt. He's the world's fattest Interrupting man. Interrupting our shit. Him. Jane, can I put you on speakerphone? Slit her throat. No, 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 that's fine. I didn't hang up on you. We got, I had the call dropped. New World Nutrition. Liver cleanser. Will you stop breathing so oh, fucking heavy? A little of this, a little of that. Trannies. McGregor's whatever. about 160 <laughs> the pounds. Usual. I don't care how much he fights, <laughs> I'll break his little Scottish neck. 
He's Irish. Little Mick. But just like we always do. <laughs> little drunken Irishman with his little pretty boy yeah, suits. Yeah, but then we looked at it objectively. I just drink a lot of water. That gets you a lot of... And your food gives you everything you need. Okay, Steve we'll from do. Fontana. Okay, Jane. I agree. Put it on speaker. Power mad d- devil. That's the question I like to know. Where is the I just goddess? said I didn't fart yet. Now I'm fucking farting. No, The Rock's a cookie cutter and a pretty boy. I hope so. She won't hang up. She never does. Thank you, James. Songs are good. Uh, I'm going to let you go now. He ruined it, put this country in a bad hole. Right, me too. Absolutely, and then some. Please do. Please contact her for me. Please, Will please, do, please, Jane. Please, I promise. Please. Have a good night, okay? No, I wouldn't. Well, she won't I think Elzada is one of the most entertaining football players and toughest men that ever lived. No, Brad doesn't drink on the weekends anymore. Please set up a phone call with Christina. No, actually, I do drink, does on, the drink weekends, on the just weekends. Just not during the week. I'd love to meet Christina Broccoli, and I wish someone would help me. I need your help, maniacs. That's my goal in life, just to meet her. Because I know I'm going to meet her in eternity. I just know it. All right, let's. What time is when Dixie? Who's the biggest yeah. porch? My probably LeBron to James. Dixie? He's got to go shopping. Give me the phone. Taking him shopping? No, fuck no. I'm dropping him off there. He's got his. Brad's got to go home and watch his bike? Miami Dolphins. It's over at the gym. I got to go watch some Miami Dolphins get uh, sodomized. What are some off-season tr- football training tips? Get yourself with your alignment as heavy as you can, so then when you train and start doing your conditioning, you have all that extra muscle. You got to address your blood pressure. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. I just said it. trim those nose hairs. I told you not to hold the phone that close to your fucking what face nose when you hairs, do this you shit. Freak. I do trim them. <laughs> I do trim them. A dolphin's got a field goal? Oh, big fucking deal. Trim the hairs on your twat there, punk. Heard LeBron James fuck Christina Broccolini. He fucked his right, own mother. Right in her shit shoe. He fucks his mother. <laughs> that's a, that's the biggest gets... piece of scum. If I could take right, one guy right. out, that's it. I'd take him and turn sick of that name. This LeBron, gets suspended. Yeah. <laughs> what, he can't, what is he, God on earth, LeBron? Will you stop, man. <laughs> what the fuck do you have against him? Who gives He's a shit? He's a fucking cookie cutter, and he leads people astray. How's that? He legitimizes himself as an athlete and he's not how is he not a fucking basketball athlete? is not a sport oh really you it's played basketball you played basketball you know lebron james probably could have played football but he's, you know why he didn't have the balls that's probably true you know he could, probably could have been a good street transvestite too i may be able to turn him into that oh you find him attractive shave him uh, i could make him attractive uh-huh. pump him some full of estrogen give him some surgery he may at least have some you know respect him as a human being if he did that they want to know what a good uh, men's physique gear stack would be. How about a bullet An anti- in your f- fucking head for go. being yeah. in men's physique, you, you fucking there pussy? You Probably an anti-estrogen, honestly. Low dose test. Some of that MK677 song. Combination of the three. Not too expensive. You know, keep your calories going to be on a diet all year round. Is that still the live feed or no? Look and no, feel like I, shit. I ended that fucking life. That was enough of that. It's a LeBron James ass kissing feed all of a it's sudden. Nine o'clock. What time's that, that when Dixie close? You got to get there to get your fucking rotten meat? No, I got some lactose-free milk. Why do you get it there? Sheep. It's in the, the big size. Let's get Lucy on the cast. You promise before we go. The picture of Lucy. I can show you. Let's see it. Let's take a Well, why don't we end, let's end the podcast and then I'll be can. You can show the viewers. Yeah, we can do that. We'll Give post, some we'll inspiration. Post on Instagram. All, right. All right. But Christina we'll Broccolini is definitely beyond comprehension the person I'd like to see. You'd have no idea how much that would mean to me. We know that. They Lenny, know that. It's had, not happening, dude. If you had to choose one thing, me, Christina Broccolini, or we open up our own gym in the way you want it to be open, which would it have be? to be Christina. I hate to say it. I hate to sell anybody out, but put it this way. If I could meet her and not and live just one millisecond more, it'd be worth it. All right, Lenny, let's go look at Lucy on the computer. Now, this is a sexual thing, now, for Maniacs. Totally Lucy. Different. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if I want to be around when he's looking at that. Brad, you're coming in, buddy. All right, I'm going to turn on the game. I'll watch that. It's on in there. Yeah. All right. All right, fuck All right. Next, next week. Next week. The coast in the house. Mate, Brad, what do you if, if he doesn't flake, Brad, I'm, I'm Brad, farting. Oh. I'm letting it out slow so I don't shit my pants. I see it's like a, gam- like a gamble fart. You know what's funny? Brad farts just like transsexuals do. <laughs> he like slowly lifted his asshole yes. off the chair. Uh, very funny. Yeah. Interesting. All right, everybody. Ooh, smells That's good. a Freudian a fart. You love that. Look at you. <laughs> a You're Freudian smiling. fart. All right, fuck goes. Good night. This podcast is for Christina, I love you. Hopefully, we'll be meeting we're all, soon. We're all over the place. You're man. a goddess. Good night. I'll be think, praying for you at midnight. Eat a dick, Christina. Come on, Brad. <laughs> Come on, Ed. give me a break.